The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Woo! Yeah, baby. Get it. How far into the show are we? Not. <laughs> Can we just call it? Yeah, at this point? I'm down. You, you're yeah. already pissing me off. Already? Yeah. Wow. Just the sound of your voice is like cheese grater on my ball sack. Believe it or not, it's not the record, I don't think. Probably not. Yeah. Because I could get sick of you real quick. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. Uh, but just, also, <laughs> I've, I've gotten sick of the thought of you. Uh, okay. So pisses that's me like, off. That's even before you get here. It makes me want to fucking fight. Oh, he's stewing <laughs> on his way over. No shit. You know, you know how hard it is to look like a fucking tough guy wanting to kick some ass in a Volvo? <laughs> Station, Station wagon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it must be pretty difficult. Punching holes in the wood paneling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somebody cuts me off in traffic. I run them off the road, come kick their ass. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I didn't see if he had kids with him. I, yeah. Uh, but we also have another excellent stand-up comedian. Uh, Miss, oh, he's the 2021 funniest person in Wichita. The wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. You know, uh, let the applause go, man. He doesn't uh, normally get them. Yeah, I'm not used to applause. Uh, that's okay. I get this I get this thing in the mail today. It's uh, the value pack coupons. You ever get sure, them? Sure, absolutely. Or just a bunch of useless coupons. Yeah. So I threw all They're them as away. As cash. Well, yeah. I kept one. Okay. And I, I thought Scotty could use it. Uh oh. I really think this is going to come in handy. Uh-huh. So there you go, buddy. <laughs> oh my God. What is it? There you, I figure <laughs> she is married to you. So there's a coupon for 20% off relief from vaginal dryness. <laughs> because nothing will dry a woman up faster than Scotty German. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's, that's her a... puss has got to be like Jennifer Aniston's eyes. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> I can't believe she didn't tell her fucking friends. I can't either. That she had dry eyes. Yeah. God Where'd you damn. put that? That's going on the fridge. <laughs> it's right yeah. here. Yeah. Well, I'm keeping it just, just for you. Actually, well, for my wife, really. Yeah, but she's going to need that. She is going to mm-hmm. need that. Uh, but anyways, uh, welcome to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports, and also we like to make inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me, and I'm okay with it. Not all of them. Uh, most of them, yeah. Uh, fucking very self-centered. I know, I know. Narcissistic is what uh, the, the word I think they choose to use. I was going to go with asshole. Or asshole. Yeah, yeah. Asshole mostly works. asshole, yeah. Mm-hmm. Narcissistic seems like you're, you've got a method to your madness. Oh, okay. You're just a fucking prick. Prick. Mm-hmm. I'll go with prick. I'm a prick. Uh, but also, this is a uh, adult podcast where you like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Still no loud noises. Still mm. plenty of loud I'm gonna noises. I'm going to bring an air horn, Scotty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right, we um, could make that happen. I, I know I can. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyways, we've got an excellent show for you today. Um, no, we don't. Yeah, we do. We got plenty. Jeremy, what do you think? Good show? I, Good show. Not so far. Not yeah, so, okay. I don't think so. What either. with that fucking horrible introduction and his voice? Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. Speaking of my voice, my voice is uh, is is kind of going, so you guys may have to do the whole show without me. All right, that'll work. Take a break, Scott. Miracle. <laughs> Take five. Yep, that's right. Years. Uh, but no, we've got uh, quite a few. Jesus bits. truly does save. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Happy Easter, everybody. He is risen. He is risen. Uh, risen indeed. Okay, uh, we got a lot of stuff to go over though on this week's episode. We've got uh, you know the sports. We've got real shit, horseshit, bad advice with Jeremy. Overrated, underrated questions for Guntas. A draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But before we get to those, what is that? Is that an inner tube for guinea pigs? What the fuck is that thing? Yeah. 
It's, it is. It's an entertainment for the That's beginning. what I. Where's what? the guinea pigs? The guinea pigs. Uh, see that thing with right the there? kids. Oh, that thing. Yeah, with yeah. They're, they're in the they're in the uh, children's cell over here. Okay. Yeah, you know. Uh, so well, you know they're going to eat them. Eat them? Yeah, you don't feed those kids. You're oh. gonna, they're going to eat the guinea pigs, man. I don't know. I think we ought to just keep doing stuff to make Scotty talk more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Until that voice just it's just goes. gone. Yeah, probably. Actually, no. I I actually know what that thing is, mm. and because I love that. Have you seen that Allstate commercial with? Uh, what Dean Winters? No, no. The K or Mayhem? I have, oh yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah. I have DVR. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I fast forward those things. Yeah. When he's talking about the latest uh, hashtag social, <laughs> yeah, he's doing that fucking dance, and he's got one of those with his phone on it. Yeah, dude. When he's walk going down the street, fucking <laughs> love it. He he can't even keep a straight face while he does it. No, love it. I love I love his commercials. Uh, anyways, well, now I can't really like him anymore. Okay, Fuck. fine. Well, before we get on to the sports and all the other fun stuff, we're going to talk about what happened to us over the last week. So uh, we call this our week week recap. And Derek, yo, how was your week, dude? Uh well, uh, it started <laughs> off uh, Friday. Yeah, by discount Jeremy, uh, who had listened to the show. Uh, it was a two day uh, listen for him because it was a very long show. Sure yeah. was. Uh, who just started texting me munting puns, <laughs> which was pretty <laughs> nice, pretty hilarious. Uh, he told me that Andy Reid won the Munt Pass and Kick Contest. He Fuck sure yeah. did. And sure that did. was a pretty good one. Uh, I came back with Jackie Chan does all of his own munts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, I can't, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones we had. What, we had what, is, what does that mean, by the way? Does that mean he does it on himself? <laughs> <laughs> He's getting close to death there, Jeremy. Can't remember which one said it, but we said that uh, Family Munters was our favorite show. Oh, yeah. And then uh, I sent him a picture of a zombie and said, this is Greg. He's my munterpreter. <laughs> I was pretty proud of that That's one. That's good. I like that one. said my favorite wrestler was the munter taker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he, he made some jokes about Montreal and Montana, you know, all yeah. the places to do the munting. Yeah, that's and good. And then he said he was doing comedy. He said he should be going over his set list, but he just had to keep coming up with more munting puns. <laughs> and he accidentally sent that one to his wife. Oh, oh great. And uh, I said, well, are you going to tell her what it means? He goes, hell no. I told her it was the Cleveland Steamer. I want her to look me in the eyes still. <laughs> God. You know, for your birthday, we're actually going to get you a munt cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you're going to have a corpse jump out of it. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. A sexy one, though. Yeah. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, Negligee. <laughs> we went and watched a new Harry Potter movie on Saturday. Was it any good? I liked it. My no, wife liked it. Jeremy probably hated it. Um, but it's Fantastic Beast. Harry Potter's nowhere to be found in it. Come that on. thing. All right. That. <laughs> oh, God. What a novice. <laughs> oh, what a noob. <laughs> oh, oh, God. So uh, we went and watched that. Clearly, you <clears throat> didn't watch the marathon all fucking week. <laughs> I did not. Like I had to. I think uh, I think it's kind of funny because it was on the marathon for Harry Potter was on. Just it's always on. Just it's a, always a fucking but, Harry but Potter. But they did movie. it on purpose because like super Christians are all pissed off about Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. Like right, so they do it on purpose during Easter that week. Sounds like an actual Christian superhero. Yeah, it I, does. super Christian. I mm -hmm. actually know someone who grew up. Their parents forbid them to watch Harry Potter. I do too because that is there's a warlock. It's mm. fucking ridiculous. And we do a podcast with, with one. one. I That's know. right. That's right. And I'll tell you what, Harry Potter ain't got shit on me. <laughs> I have yet to see him turn <laughs> aluminum into glass and crack it over a meth head <laughs> and knock her clean the fuck out. And then destroy the evidence immediately. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, so. Actually, somebody did that to him. That's how he got that scar. No. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So before we went to see that, uh, we were just kind of mm -hmm. killing some time and... Went to a couple different stores, and while we were waiting to go into one store, Nirvana was on the radio, oh, and yeah. uh, the song In Bloom, have you heard that one? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So that was playing, and I just randomly started changing the words to the chorus, mm -hmm. and I haven't seen my wife laugh that hard so long, and so long. I just changed the lyrics, and I just kept saying ham and beans and guns, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and that was it. <laughs> and then I would go, guns and beans and ham. That's what I want, man. And just nonstop. Might, might as well have been the lyrics. Right. Yeah, for about sure. that difficult to understand. Uh -huh. Yeah. Made about as much sense. So, uh, God, I, I hated fucking grunge. Oh, oh, come on. So, Nirvana's a shit. So, so that was, was my generation, fuckers. I get to hate it. Okay. <laughs> that was my generation, too. So we did that, and then uh, yesterday, I didn't do shit. Yeah? No. 
Uh, really? No, I didn't. I, I cleaned my smoker, which I thought was going to take a quick 10 minutes. And then I realized I hadn't cleaned my smoker in about two years. Mm-hmm. And that was gross. I'm, I'm sure still it was. trying to get the grease out from under my fingernails. I'm sure. So did that and uh, bought a new comforter this weekend. Ooh, that's important. Fuck, man. We can't ever agree Just on it. Just in time for summer. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. got to stay warm. That's right. Well, I always have to have a comforter on the bed. And now, uh, the one we, we got, we're getting rid of the duvet, which I'm not a big fan of the duvet. What okay. the fuck is a duvet? Oh, come on, Scotty. You fucking uncultured hick. Is that like the little, little, you really are thing? a prick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's, a. Uh, the inside of a comforter, and then you put a cover over it. Mm-hmm. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah we, have, we got, have one of those. We I, got one of those, too. I don't fucking like it. I don't either. Well, that's a like duvet s- cover. Sure. It's another type of blanket that kind of acts as comforter. Okay. So the duvet, duvet is. The duvet uh, is always like halfway down the fucking bed. So yeah, I've exactly. got like a sheet, two sheets on me, yeah, with, which with, I have enough of those at the meetings. With so piss I don't all over need it a and, third one. Yeah. Duvet, yeah. duvet. Is that is that German? No, it's uh, French. Uh, Korean. Oh, Korean. Yep. <laughs> North, North, duvet. North, <laughs> North Korean. That's North, actually yeah. how you pronounce it. Duvet. Duvet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so so we bought one of those. And uh, God, I can't believe how expensive those fucking things are. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. I was like, well, there was one on Amazon. I was like, well, that one's $39. I don't think I want that one. <laughs> yeah. I, think that is, I don't think that's a disposable one. Yeah. So we ended up uh, springing uh, $215 later, which Jesus. still probably wasn't a great one. Yeah. But that's what we ended up with. So it should be here in a few days. We ordered it off of Kohl's. Okay. So uh, That's better. That's better than Amazon. Certain <sighs> things like that, you don't do the Amazon thing. Well, like, there's certain things that I won't do discount. Like medical procedures? Yeah. Oh, fuck no. I don't know. Like, you see that lady that'll, like, complain that her tits are two different sizes, but... And one of them's filled with Legos instead of silicone right. or whatever. Yeah. But it's like you got a three hundred dollar pair of tits. Right. A three hundred dollar pair of tits <clears throat> get filled with fucking Legos. Yeah. Right? And not the good ones. No. Uh-uh. No, they're just spare Lego parts. Right. It's yeah. those old Duplo, the great big ones for like four year olds. Yeah. Those. <laughs> it's nothing intricate. Yeah. No. It's like it, well, it's it's actually the sets like like you can get like the DeLorean set, but it's missing like eight pieces. Yeah, that's what their tits get. Right, with. right. Yeah, the sure. incomplete Lego sets. Parents yeah. complain a lot about stepping on Legos. Could you imagine putting your dick between Lego tits? <laughs> <laughs> oh. it's worse than sandpaper. <laughs> nice. Uh, is that it? Yeah, that okay. was that was my week. All right, I didn't do a hell of a lot. I really didn't. I um. I was pretty much monitoring the uh, the TikTok channel for majority of the week and weekend. Why? I I uh, I don't know. I we started sharing. If you haven't noticed, we started sharing a whole bunch of TikToks that we shared a long time ago, um, and uh, just for like new new followers and stuff like that, just in case they didn't they didn't get to see them. And we shared one that wasn't even our fucking joke. It was Jeremy talking about the funniest senior prank that he's ever mm-hmm. seen. Not even us. It's me telling about somebody else's joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we share that son of a bitch, and oh my god, uh, a week later, it's at one point five million fucking views, and uh, people are just basically saying the exact same thing. Yeah, we did that with chickens. Yeah, we did that with pigs. Yeah, number one, no, you didn't. <laughs> uh, that's all we got to sure. do to get a bunch of views. I got this great bit about the aristocrats. Mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the father was fucking the mother. <laughs> that was a terrible Gilbert Godfrey. Yeah. Uh, yeah that speak- poor bastard. Yeah, that poor bastard. Uh, that uh, sucks, man. I know. And, and you know what? A lot of people, like, I don't think the younger generation really appreciates that guy very much. I don't think most people did because of his... His voice. I, I knew him before he was a... Before I knew he was a comedian, he used to do... He like would host on USA Network. Yeah. The up all night. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And he was just so fucking obnoxious and not funny because he was so restricted about what he could and couldn't say. Mm-hmm. He was actually a brilliant comedian. Him is the principal from Problem Child. That was that's exactly where, what I was just oh, getting yeah, ready to he say. He was in that, wasn't he? Yeah. That's where I remember. Not the was it the principal or the adoption head? I guy? don't know if he. I don't think he was the principal. He was just like the annoying asshole guy. But they got into a fucking pizza fight at a pizza place, and that was fucking awesome. Yeah, I, he was great, man. Yeah, I, I was supposed to go see him uh, live April thirtieth. Mm-hmm. So and then the show ended up getting canceled. Like I want to say. 
maybe a week before he died. Mm-hmm. And it was like, hey, we don't know if it's going to get rescheduled. He's canceled the rest of his tour. And then like a week later, he's gone. And I was like, fuck. What did he pass away from? Yeah. Cancer. Uh, heart. They said it was a heart issue. I, th- I thought it was cancer. Um, no, his family said it was there was a long heart battle. Something mm. with his heart. Was it heart cancer? cancer? Yeah, probably. Yeah, that was it. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. yeah, heart piece. It was heart herpes. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. Jesus. You yeah. got to put a condom on your heart, dude. Absolutely. Yeah, You're for sure. Shit. Yeah. So, so sad to see yeah. him go, yep. man. He that was, was he was uh, edgy enough that he got fired from being the voice of a duck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over a tsunami joke. Uh huh. Yep. Which is bullshit. Um, Tsunamis? No, they're real. No, those are real. Yeah, Fuck for that. sure. Um, but on top of that, I uh, I kind of fucking do this again, and I'm sorry, but uh, I called out the the one person who who. Um, Steals our shit more than anybody else that we know of. We, we looked up his fucking channel, and it, like the last like twelve videos are is our stuff. And I want to make it very fucking clear: not everybody fucking steals our shit illegally. If if it it's our logo in the ro- in the right hand corner that's rolling, those guys are doing what we want. We want you to use our sounds. We want you to do duets. We want you to do stitches. This is why the episode went so long last time. You I know on about this. I know it's not illegal. It's just uncool. It's yes. it's super uncool. And I say illegally. I don't think I don't. It might be if we you're sued. a fucking scumbag if you do it. Yeah, if he exactly. Sold it, it who would who be the illegal. fuck that's are true. we going to yeah, sue? It runs that's through a Chinese website. Exactly. No, it's just fucked up. And and uh, yeah, so that's that's all I'm gonna say about it. Obviously, we want you to use our sounds. We love it when you do that, and we love it when you stitch and all that stuff. That we love that stuff. It's whenever you download the fucking video and use the sound and make it look like it's yours. You should really make this information a TikTok. I I tried, and it yeah. Uh, I, it, that'd probably have over a half dozen hits. I'm really excited. Uh, I know Derek is going to be missing. Uh, you're going to be here next couple of episodes, if I remember correctly. I was looking at the schedule. Yeah. Um, but well, you don't know what he has personally. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, don't you, you, fucking you, speak for him. In fact, right. just don't speak. Yeah, I got to watch the the grass grow, so mm-hmm. I might miss um. one. But there was a uh, there was a viral video that I saw, and uh, I didn't recognize the comedian. Um, but somebody was pulling kind of a Will Smith, only the person that was pulling it was uh, significantly more of a lesbian. Um, and there was a comedian that did a joke, which I found out the joke was oh. fucking pathetic. Yeah, he's a local guy. It's a local guy. I didn't know who it was, no, but all don't. all of a sudden I see fucking... He, he told... She was talking and apparently pissing everybody off, and he told her to shut the fuck up. Right. Yeah, and that's what started the whole incident. Yeah, and that video went crazy, yeah. and, and here comes out of nowhere Steve Peters, our, our buddy, ends up being the one breaking it up, and I was like, holy shit. I want him to talk about that. So whenever Steve's on, I want him to go into details of exactly what uh, what was going that's on. Pretty much exactly what happened. Yeah, Jeremy well, just told you. I, I don't know if that's and, everything. And by that the way, everything. by sure. by pulling a Will Smith, you mean that you sent but, her to live with rich relatives out in Southern California, right? With no hair. Yeah. No, Uncle, well, Uncle Phil didn't have any hair. Uncle Phil didn't Boy. have any. Boy. Yeah. Um, but other can than we that, be done? Yeah, we're getting there. Jesus. Uh, and that's the ball game. I cannot <laughs> wait for that voice to go out. It's going, and that's the other thing. I've uh, somehow I've gotten some something, and uh, yeah, I'm sick, but not really sick. Well, you give that shit to me. I got ball games to announce the next six days. No, dick. it's it's fucking allergies. I hope it's whatever Gilbert Godfrey did. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of hoping the bomb sang it. Right. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. All right, Jeremy. How was your week, dude? Oh, better than yours. I'll tell you that for sure. It was. Um, you could have watched see. grass grow, and it would have been better than mine. Derek already made that joke. Oh, I God missed it. damn! Sorry. So if if you'd have had his logo at the bottom of your fucking <laughs> screen, <laughs> right, well, I wouldn't have come down on you for it. Right. But Jesus, yeah, that's a real scumbag thing to do, Scotty. I, um, I think I found who can fill in for you as a host, Scotty. Who? Um, it was uh, a Cox technician that came out. We kept having problems with our internet; just kept dropping out mm-hmm. all of a sudden. So we had a tech come out to the house. And uh, so obviously he knows his technical shit, so he can run all that shit way better than you can. Sure. And um, boy, you want to talk about a guy who is planted firmly at the upper end of the spectrum? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Holy shit. This guy (laughs) didn't hold anything back. Uh, I know his wife's name, his mom's (laughs) name. I know his credit score. Uh, I know his probably his social security number. He probably wrote that on the fucking invoice. I, I mean, this guy... I know way more. It's, it's actually a Wi Fi password. That's what it's, it is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a um, <coughs> great guy. Really nice guy. Just was willing to really volunteer a lot of information that I didn't ask for. Um, he was probably starstruck, Jeremy. Um, 
Yeah, probably. Yeah, I mean, I would be. Probably. I, th I think this is a guy who scans the entire internet Yeah, just every night, like how Rain Man used to read the phone book. Uh -huh. He did that with the internet, so no doubt he's seen our videos. Right. He didn't really say anything about that, though. That's the one thing he kept <laughs> tight-lipped about. <laughs> uh, let's nice. see. Then on Thursday, I also went and saw the uh, Fantastic Beasts, mm. the uh, Secrets of Grindelwald. Or not Grindelwald. Uh, the Grindelwald. Oh, Jesus Christ. God, I'm, are you I'm sorry. I'm fucking done. Oh. Mm. Next thing you're going to be saying, Harry Potter was in the It was The Crimes of Grindelwald was the previous one, mm -hmm. and that one really surprised me because is, his crimes turned out to be mostly parking tickets and jaywalking. Uh, <laughs> they were, this was, one his was crimes this, were actually falsely accused by Amber Heard. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. This one was The Secrets of Dumbledore, and I still don't know because he kept whispering them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I have, I can't, I don't hear. Right. But no, it was, a, there were a couple of things that I had issues with, but other than that, it was a pretty good movie. Um, Let's see. What else did I do on Saturday? You, you know how, God damn it. I, so, you know how they have people have white, what they call uh, white people problems? No, oh, yeah, 100%. And then you have like real world problems. Mm -hmm. Well, I had real world problems where the fucking home theater system in our bedroom went out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we went to uh, Best Buy and, and got a new... Uh, we had like the old component style mm -hmm. home theater system with a receiver and, and a bunch of fucking speakers hooked up to it. And mm -hmm. I just got the sound bar with some satellite speakers now. Duh. And uh, all the speakers are wireless. Nice. And how nice is that? Because, Jesus, I can't believe the fucking job that I did hooking up all the other shit. <laughs> there was a fucking bird's nest behind the goddamn <laughs> dresser. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I... I I started just finally cutting wires Are to you get them serious? all done. Most of it was just speaker wire. Oh, wow. That was fucking, I had a mile of it behind the fucking One of it was a ground wire. Water. We're glad you're still alive. Right. Am I? Yeah. Hmm. I, I'm just running on fumes, guys. Maybe. Just on the outside, you're alive. Yeah. yeah. You've been dead on the inside for, <laughs> for a long, long time. time. I sure have. Boy. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> About three and a half years now. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Uh, how long have you been married? Be no, it's how long he's been yeah, doing, long been doing the show. podcast. That's, ah. that's when my soul really died. I used to be full of life, very vibrant and jubilant. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday, um, I w uh, it was Easter, of course. He is risen. Yeah. And I uh, went out to uh, my parents' house and uh, spent some time with family. Got to see my brother and his family. And uh, How's he doing, by the way? Better than you. That's, uh, tell him I said, <laughs> next time we see him, tell him I said hi. I like that guy. Nope. He likes me, too. No, he doesn't. Yes, I he does. told you how you're, he gave you a bad Yelp review. You're, you're full of shit. He texts really? me every once in a while, yeah. It just says, fuck you. Yeah, that's all the text says. <laughs> just random fuck you text from Jeremy's brother. Sometimes yeah. a flip-off emoji. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, but other than that, uh, yeah, that's about it. All right. I, I did find a new TV show. Ooh, what you got? Oh, what uh, we got? What do we got? I don't usually watch the Food Network, but I had to see what this was. I know it looks like I watch it all the time. I'm more of an eater, not a watcher. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. more of a... <laughs> Food a tester. consumer of of what the Food Network puts out. Right. Absolutely. And, and speaking of that, some lady oh. in town uh, started some cookie business called Crumble and Cream. Ooh. Not Crumble Cookies. Huh. Crumble and Cream. And she delivered them all on Saturday. And those are the best cookies I've ever had in my life. Really? They oh, were nice. a Texas deep dish cookie. Were they Oreos? or No. Oh. One was a, a French toast one. One was a cinnamon roll one. And then I got a peanut butter chocolate one. And they were fucking amazing. How does a Texas deep dish cookie differ from a Chicago deep dish? <laughs> well, <laughs> the pizza sauce is on the top of a Chicago deep dish. Uh -huh. but, and then on a Texas deep dish cookie, the pizza sauce is in the middle. I got gotcha. you. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's bigger because everything in Texas is bigger. Right. Of course it is. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> the show I watched was called Eating Your Way Through the 80s with that Adam, the Adam Ver Man vs. Food Guy. Adam oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, I don't know what is his full name. Right is, Man yeah. or something, yeah. And uh, he went to, he's found, found these people that collect 80s, like, pop culture memorabilia and stuff, and uh -huh. some of the stuff they have is food. And he eats it? I'm getting there. <laughs> no. Uh, so the first guy, the fr I watched uh, two episodes last night. The mm -hmm. first one, uh, there was a guy that had the world's biggest Ghostbusters collection. Jesus. Okay. And he had, like, toys and costumes. And then there was a high sea ectoplasm cooler. Okay. They drank it. That thing was over 20 years old. Oh, and wow. And they drank it. It still had a little bit of that green hint. He said it still actually kind of tasted like the high sea uh, mm -hmm. ecto thing. He said that actually... 
that was okay. And then they ate, uh, they had the Slimer bubble gum and Slimer toothpaste. Okay. You could tell which one the toothpaste was because the bubble gum looked like baby shit. <laughs> okay. Like, oh, I'm glad he didn't try it. Oh, man. And then uh, he had some Star Wars cookies on one from like the 70s. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, he said that it tasted like all the butter had uh, went away. He's so. legit not going to stop till he's dead. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I wonder if he's even susceptible to food poisoning at this point. Maybe not. With all the shit that he's eating. I, I like to think he ate the toys. Yeah. <laughs> Just... <laughs> You have to eat this entire collection of He-Man figures <laughs> after they came out of Ryan Dunn's ass. <laughs> right. <laughs> in 30 minutes or less. So, yeah. I, I really got hung up on Battle Cat. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I did find that show last night and really enjoyed it. So, cool. might be something you check out. Yeah. Probably not. But, uh, yeah. All right. I had enough shit to watch. Absolutely. Well, we do have uh, some sports to get to uh, that happened to uh, or happened over the last week. But before... We get to that. I want to talk to you guys about our spot. You know what? I want you guys to talk about it. I don't want to fucking say a thing. All right. High C Ecto Cooler. No. <laughs> Tastes delicious even after 25 years uh, on the shelf. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Back to you, Scott. Was it at least chilled? Mm-hmm. No. All right. No, it, it was room temp. Great. Gross. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But no, our sponsor for every episode is Slimer me. Bubblegum. Oh, God. Blech. See, and based off of Topps baseball cards, I would have thought Bubblegum kept forever. Yeah, right. he uh, he did try that, too. Did he? Uh, oh, yeah. But it was hard as a brick. Oh, yeah. Jesus, the fresh <laughs> stuff is awful. Uh, right. Yeah. But no, our actual sponsor is Manscaped.com. This is a company that specializes in making products to help keep your manly parts groomed. That would be your balls and your asshole. Um, and other parts all over your body, including your nose hair, your ear hair, you know, hair everywhere. Um, they have the lawnmower 4.0, which is, uh, mainly for your balls and your asshole. Um, but they have, uh, other excellent products that you can use to, uh, you know, do what you need to do. Right, Jeremy? Huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. They've got great products. They there, do. Scotty. Uh, I've never actually used the, uh, the weed whacker on my asshole. I've never <laughs> used any of these products well, on my asshole. The trenchers for you. your asshole. Right. That is a, that is a, once they come out with once it, once they come out with it. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's diesel. Though. Yeah, yeah, it's an R and D currently, <laughs> but uh, they're hoping to release that soon. Uh, I think Bruce Wayne's going to get it first. It's really an emissions issue, right? That's mostly they're they're really worried about pollution and stuff. Um, def- Morgan Morgan Freeman's designing that. He for, sure is. Bruce Wayne. That's <laughs> it's it it'll actually speed up into a rampless jump, which <laughs> not only defies all the laws of physics, but would be kind of pointless. So, anyways, um, uh, yeah. What else they got? They got that refined uh, cologne. cologne. Don't yeah. put that on your asshole. No. <laughs> um, no matter how bad it stinks, just right. take a bath. They yeah, got and, the de- uh, or shower. They yeah. got the detasseler. So if you need circumcised, <laughs> no, you just use the detasseler, and that, that'll take care of that problem right away. That's mm-hmm. not a real product. But no, they do have the lawnmower <laughs> 4.0. <laughs> they have the Scotty. detasseler. The 4.0 is there. Looks is, like fingernail clippers. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's those, are, those, those are the shears. No, that's the detasseler. Okay. That's for circumcising. Okay. Uh, but no, the Lawnmower 4.0, excellent product uh, with a ceramic blade to keep you from getting cut. And and that really will happen if you use a fucking beard. Yes, it will. Um, yes, it will. It will look like you went through a real lawnmower. That's right. Just ran at the blade dick first. That's right. Uh, the Lawnmower 4.0 does have an adjustable LED light. It has a docking station now, so you can put that on the uh, you know your bathroom counter so everybody knows that you're well-groomed. I keep mine in the kitchen. Yeah, you should. Absolutely, right by the blender. That's mm-hmm. right. Uh, but Nobody do. wants somebody with a hairy ball sack making margaritas. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. That's I right. want them to know that if they found mm. a hair in their food, it's not from me. That's nope. right. Uh, but well, also, at least not from my balls. It might be from my nose. Right. right. Well, right. no, I took care of that, too. Uh, with the weed whacker. That's The thing about a blender pitcher is it makes a nice hair catcher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. If you run out of those placemat things that they ha- give you to put on the mm-hmm. floor. Yep. They've got tons. I just use real placemats. Right. Sure. Yeah. They've got tons of products over, places. <laughs> over at manscaped.com. Do us a, a favor. Go and check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code sidelines and get 20% off your order plus free shipping. Helps you out. Helps us out. And lets Manscaped know that we're reading these commercials word for word. My my ball hair placement has a maze on it. So that Does way, it? yeah, that, that, that way if my nephew's <laughs> on the floor while I'm doing it, yeah. he can try and fill in and get to <laughs> sure. the end. Perfect. I admit it. You did it. You did do it. <laughs> Honey, I'm going to shave my balls. Get my crayons. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I don't um, want the red one. I want the mauve one. <laughs> I've already done this word search. Right. 
Okay. All right. Well, moving on, we got some sports to go over. Um, yeah, I guess first things first. It came out that the $500,000 transaction for the last touchdown ball thrown by uh, Tom Brady uh, from last season, that transaction has been voided. Good deal. I'm sick of talking about it. Yep. Yeah. We can, we can move, fucking over this. We can move on from that. That shit. ball was thrown four fucking months ago. Yes. <laughs> Enough. And that transaction was three months ago. How fucking slow is Venmo? Jesus. <laughs> well, apparently it's pretty fucking slow there, Jeremy. I guess so. I, I mean, he, I think he played. With, I think he paid with Diners Club. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> they had to do all the research just to find out what Diners Club is. Uh-huh. Right. Diners Club and Circuit City gift cards. That's how he paid. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> maybe some Best Buy gift cards. Maybe. No. Uh, Circuit no, City. Circuit Come City. On, Scotty. Okay. All right. Jesus fucking Christ. So, Circuit City. I. I do they even exist anymore? That's the joke, Scott. Yes, no. no, but I was asking a serious question. No, they don't exist. They don't? I, I didn't know if there's like They barely of them. existed when they did exist. <laughs> okay, fair. Uh, let's see. There's that. Uh, there's not a whole lot of NFL news going on other than um, there's some football news. Uh, the, uh, oh, there's, there's one no, that's no on NFL here. No NFL news, but some football news. Right. Yeah. There, there's one thing I want to say about the NFL, which made me laugh. I saw the video of it the other day. Okay. Aaron Rodgers played in a charity game and got picked off <laughs> by, like, some D2 kid. Nice. And uh, the D2 kid went and celebrated and handed Aaron Rodgers the ball, and Aaron Rodgers threw it at him. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Fucking bitch. What a douche. Did the guy pick that off, too? <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, but no, there is uh, some football news. There is a apparently another league that just started their regular season. The USFL started its regular season on, I believe, Sunday. I believe it was the US Fantasy League. Uh, no, the United States Football League. I guess is what it's called. Oh, they used to have one of those. They yes. sure did back in the what eighties. That's when uh, yeah, they early merged 80s. with the NFL. That's what the Super Bowl is now. Is it? Yeah. yeah it was yep. the NFC and it AFC. It sure was. Back then, it went, wasn't it the NFL and the USFL or something? N- no. No. That's what they were hoping for. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, that was, uh, of course, our former president, Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they wanted to buy the New York Giants, mm-hmm. and they have certain codes of conduct and behavior, and they basically said, you're not the kind of guy who we want owning a football team in our league. Okay. So he and some rich buddies of his went and started their own league that – Tried paying competitive rates with the NFL, but they had their season during the summer. Yeah. And um, basically, they were hoping like what would happen with the ABA, where most of the teams didn't make it, but the NFL absorbed some of the teams. And he was hoping he owned the New New Jersey Generals, I believe it was. And uh, no, it just dissolved. Yeah. I mean, they had some really high profile players. I believe it was uh, Doug Flutie, if I remember. They got Doug Flutie. They got. Jim Kelly. What name it from um, that? Yeah, name it. No, he was that was the the AFL. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that was that was way back in the day. That's what I'm thinking, I yeah, think. That was Did the that murder. become the AFC? Yes. That's where I'm yes, going. Yes, yes, okay. Yes. That's what I was thinking. I thought you were making a joke. <laughs> no, no, I was I got it confused. No, the uh they were basically the the ABA only the NFL didn't want any of the fucking teams because they were bad. Yeah, and this is I uh, destined for failure, I think again. Probably, I, I don't. I don't see how this could be a successful deal. The only way this is successful is if Vince McMahon has his hand in it. Yeah, then and I think that thing is, and just, he doesn't. Oh, then there's no way it's going to no work. No way it's going to work. I yeah. have to think that nobody really wants to play football in the summer. Yeah, that really. I mean, not only are you competing with baseball for ratings, but it's fucking hot. Yeah, and you're wearing pads. People, people get exhausted playing football in the winter time. Yeah. So, yeah, this ain't going to work. I don't think this is going to work. We've already seen it get tried. The XFL, now, granted, that was when COVID came running through. We didn't know what was going to happen, but it seemed like it may have worked there for a little bit. But it probably would have just petered off like everything else does. For the most part, if people want to watch football that is of a lower caliber than the NFL, they'll watch college. Uh And basically, they're done with football for the rest of the year. Right. And like you said, nobody wants to wear pads in the summertime. Right. Oh, My yeah. wife doesn't even do it. She free twats mm-hmm. it. No, mm-hmm. really? Yeah, she Good. just... Good stuff. Yeah, lets it run right on out. Now, see, my wife will... She'll wear shoulder pads down there. Ah. ah Sometimes the eye pads. Okay. All right. So my wife will put her iPad down there. Really? <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah. That's impressive. That's a high dollar piece of equipment there. Yeah. yeah but I bet it, it does its job. Yeah, it really sucks using Face ID, though. She... <laughs> <laughs> Sure does. <laughs> she has gotten really good at Angry Birds, though. That's, <laughs> I don't know how she does it. 
Super impressive. Huh? Uh, see, mine's really good at tempo run. <laughs> sure. <Yeah. laughs> um, <laughs> I don't uh, know what that is. But okay. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did see a uh, a thing interesting on fantasy football. Oh, what you got? It was a TikTok video. And <laughs> Have I we started our draft yet? Yeah, we're getting close. Uh, the you got your Australian one. The yeah. interesting thing is, is this guy had talked about a league. It's a no-sit league. Okay. So you do not sit any players. You have a full roster, and that's it. And if your player's on a bye week, you either bench him or drop him. If your player gets hurt, you drop him or you don't have that. Or you don't bench him. You just don't play him. So if your quarterback is out, off that week and you have Mahomes, you either drop Mahomes and pick up a different quarterback. Or oh, wow. So you've got no subs. No subs. Okay. Ooh. That honestly sounds better than what I thought it was, which is you could not sit down during the entire <laughs> season, Jeez. starting with the draft. Yep. <laughs> just standing. Sorry, fucker. Yep. <laughs> Um, but anyways, uh, another NFL, or another football news. I guess it's kind of NFL, but Terrell Owens is playing football again. It's like it looks like it was an. Did he ever stop? Really? Yeah. Maybe I mean, not. maybe not on the field, but in my heart. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> certain. But it's it's like an indoor f- football league, and it's called the Fan Controlled Football League. I guess oh, they have I some hope big... they run his ass right in the goalpost. <laughs> I hope he has to just charge him right fucking head first right into the goalpost. Yeah, but I don't, I don't even know what this fan controlled football league. I think that the fans get to control what plays. They run. Oh. They it's like you watch online and they get to control what happens next. Or uh, I think they just get to control if it's a pass or a run. I would always go punt. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean that would make <laughs> I would punt. Punt, punt only league. That's that's the fucking league that we should start this year. Right. The punt only league. The punt only league, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyways, he caught his first touchdown. It was all over the place. And he's like what, forty? Forty two, something like that. He's not crazy old, but I mean, good for him. I think he's a little older than I am. Is he? Yeah. Oh, I, I'm guessing he's in better shape. Oh, well, he has to be in order Not to play mentally, arena but. football. But I just, I don't know. I just think it's just kind of weird that he's actually playing organized football. But he's Yeah, yeah that's, he's that's four- what he needs to get hit in the fucking head a little more. <laughs> right, especially because he's 48 years old. Yeah. Holy shit. Wow. Good for you there, buddy. Um. But yeah, now now through football season, now we finally have baseball season. I, I'm so excited. We've we've had our first couple of weeks. The Wichita wind surge looked like crap their first opening series, but now they have won four games in a row. Yep, they were 0 and five, and now they're, they're four and four five. and five. There we go. So now we've got some W's under the belt. And uh, if I remember right, it was against the Naturals too, who ended up winning yep. the league last year. Yep. So good on them. Uh, yeah, get to come I, home and play another uh, homestand this coming week. So go get them. I was really disappointed yesterday that the Royals Tigers game got rained out. Uh, they were on a pretty hot one game winning streak. Yeah, I thought after dropping going. five in a row. Yeah, you wanted to go watch rain. I was going to go to the game Saturday. Oh. I asked my wife, "I'm like, do you want to go watch Javi Baez tomorrow?" And she she's like, "I'm just really tired. I kind of don't want to. I'm sorry." I'm like, "No, it's fine. He'll he'll be back." And then glad we didn't end up going because it rained. Yeah, so. that sucked. Do that beans and guns thing again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> beans and guns, beans or ham and beans and guns. Ham and beans, yeah. And, yeah. Um, <laughs> how about uh, how about your how about your cubbies, bro? How are they doing so far? Yeah, they're doing. They're doing. They actually don't look bad. Right now, they have the number one offense in baseball. Yeah. But they've left a shitload of runners on it. They just hit a lot of singles and doubles is what they're doing. Yeah. And their pitching, their pen is awful. But they had a good pen, and then they traded them all. Mm -hmm. So now the pen's awful. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, you got a guy named Suzuki, right? Yep. That guy looks be pretty good. I like him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't super excited about him in the beginning. I'm not going to lie. But I actually, I I really like that guy. All right. There you go. Uh, My Cardinals. Uh I think they're Arizona. At the top. No, oh. uh, I think they're at the top of the central. If I Louisville? remember, correctly. Stanford, Louisville. Yeah, exactly. Both of those actually. Louisville. Yeah. It's got I Louisville, guess Stanford right? is actually just the cardinal. Yeah, that's true. It is, mm. and it's a fucking tree. Yeah, it's the color cardinal. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Um, How about that? Right. Uh, I'm actually kind of shocked. Uh, Albert Pujols has, has hit. Don't two. tell none of that shit. No, I won't. Uh, Albert Pujols has hit two home runs, and he has actually been producing. Which is kind of weird. He hit, uh, I think it was six eighty one, I believe the other the other day. Okay, so he must be using again. He might be last season. I want him to break seven. I think that would be cool if he broke seven. 
because obviously you have the home run king, which is seven <laughs> bats or se- seven hundred home runs. Oh, uh, I want him to break seven hundred. I think that'd be okay. How many of those that were neat were ingested with steroids? Uh, every single fucking one. Yeah. Of them. Um, but I mean, I mean, you got the home run king. You got Hank Aaron. That's the home run king. If you say Barry Bonds, full of shit. Um, but I, I mean, I kind of wanted to pass a rod. That's kind of, I think he's still a better person than a rod is. Nah, you don't think so. Nah, I don't, I don't think you're right. I think Pujols is a piece of shit. I, I mean, I do, but I think he's less of a piece of shit than a rod. Pujols yeah, was never a, a Yankee. A rod's so. more. There you go. A rod's more likable since he's now commentating. Though. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think so. Uh-huh. Uh, but other baseball news, uh, this was pretty, pretty cool. Um, Brett Phillips, who is a position player for the Tampa Bay Rays, goes out and pitches after the Rays were getting the shit kicked out of him. Uh, he he just, just goes by Brillips in the, yeah, Brillips, in the clubhouse. Yeah. Right. Um, but he ends up going up and pitching. He's throwing like a 55-mile-an-hour fastball, gets popped up uh, on third baseline, and he hustles the shit out of it, makes a sliding catch, and uh, then sprints back to the mound. And then a couple of na- uh, games later, he ends up being put in the field in right field and making a fucking amazing catch. And the headline read, pitcher put in the field and makes an amazing catch. He's a position player. Well, so I yes, in the same I, way that you're a bull rider. Exactly. But I think he actually is not getting enough credit. I think he had a pretty decent season a couple years ago, if I remember correctly. Okay. But I just like watching – even even if they're getting the shit kicked out of him, I don't. Obviously, I think he was kind of having fun and just joking around and stuff. But I like watching people play like that. Balls to the wall yeah, all the time. And absolutely, fun. especially. I mean, if you're putting a position player in to pitch, mm-hmm. that means you're getting kicked around pretty good. And if guys are still fucking diving and sliding around, giving up some fucking skin, that's what you you're supposed to do. That's that's what people paid their fucking tickets to to go see. Yeah. Just to see you play hard for nine innings. I right. see. I kind of like to pay to watch him just like hit it in the dirt and then just slowly jog to first base. Oh, is that oh, what yeah. you, you I like, like a trot? You yeah. Like a nice, yeah. Nice slow trot. You don't want to expend sure. all that energy in case you need to make a big play later. I, I like it when they just don't even swing, when they mm-hmm. just watch it and then just walk back to the dugout. I love that. That walk back to the dugout is some of the most exciting action that you will see in all of baseball. That or whenever they strike out swinging and the uh-huh. catcher and the catcher drops it and then they just kind of stand there and wait for him to tag him. Yeah. I like that one too. That's that's a good mm-hmm. play. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, I really love when the ump dusts off the plate. Mm. Oh. Oh man, where does he get that broom from? Well, that's just that sweet sweet ump ass. It sure is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What anyway, now, Scotty? Come anyway, on. Anyway, are, are you on the fucking phone? Yeah, I'm looking for something. Oh, my God. I was letting you guys just kind of... Sorry run. if we're bugging you, interrupting you're your fucking day. You don't want me to talk anyway. No, we don't. Okay, but so I was You're kind of steering this ship. I was following instructions. Um, next, uh, Joey Votto you tweeted... Are, you are not following. I have yet to see you fuck yourself. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, you want to watch? Scotty. You've, you you should. haven't jumped off a bridge. Yep. You haven't walked out into traffic. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nothing. Okay. All right. What the Fair. fuck is wrong with you? You know. haven't tried to set the world record for holding your breath? Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. None of that. I'll get there. Uh, next one. Joey Votto tweeted this after he got hit in the head fr- after Friday's game. He said, uh, some guy came up to him and said, what's your name? And he goes, what? What is your name? <laughs> Tony. And he goes, what's your name? Ezekiel. And then he Fuck said, so, no, then he ends up saying, and something about a fi- uh, like a bonfire or something like that. I don't remember. I got hit in the head. That's actually what he tweeted. Okay. I thought that was fucking great. I love Joey Votto. He's fucking awesome. I guess you had to be there. No, um, you know. Anyways. <laughs> um, next one. Boy, this is really going well, I, slow. I, I, I'm, si- I'm sitting there telling you my voice just absolutely sucks. And it was, yeah. Uh, We've known that forever. Yeah, I know. Um, Ichiro throws out the fastest ceremonial first pitch of all time at 93.6 miles an hour. Currently of all time. Currently. Yes, because if Jeremy Joseph gets to throw the first pitch, by God, he's going to smoke that fucking That record. fucker's going to be I on assume fire. it was because in T-ball, they used to – they hardly ever use radar gun. <laughs> yeah. In T-ball. It's, it's really hard to really gauge <laughs> the speed. It's like it's just there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just magically <laughs> jesus christ oh shit that was yesterday great. scotty do the you th- ma- magical <laughs> I- i'm jesus sure christ, yes. i know <laughs> fucking great 
uh, my question is this: Now that they've actually had a fucking speed gun of clocking Ichiro through at ninety three point six mile an hour, uh-huh. do you think somebody's gonna try to get up there and fucking smoke it? Probably somebody's stuff? gonna get killed. <laughs> Yeah. There's a hot dog vendor out there that ain't going <laughs> to fucking make it. Yeah. No, there's nets everywhere now. It'll be just fine. Yeah, yeah. that's true. No, okay, the- there's a mascot somewhere <laughs> that's going to get fucking nailed. <laughs> or some media crew, somebody with a fucking camera. Poor Slider ain't got a chance. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, damn. I'm going to fucking be laughing at that for like two weeks. <laughs> they don't use radar gun t ball. <laughs> Not not very often. <laughs> they just they just can't afford the equipment. They're, they right. they spend all their money on catcher's gear. Right. I was uh, just to let let everybody know. Uh, whenever we were out for my birthday a couple weeks or not this past Saturday, but the one before, and Jeremy got had gotten a bucket of beer, and one of the beers was just it was, it was warm. Uh, not so, one of them. Okay. <laughs> all of them. All of them. So, so Jeremy goes, man, I got a great slogan for this place. Warmest ice in town. <laughs> eh, I don't know why, but I fucking giggled nonstop for Dude. today for like five minutes just about that line. I thought of it today. And you just, put that out on the marquee, that's going to make people curious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fuck. Well, you had some other baseball stuff that you were talking about earlier, Derek, uh, that you wanted to bring up. I did? Yeah. The gold, the <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that was a while ago, Scotty. <laughs> Peavy. Yeah, hey, you do. You are, you are <laughs> my pet Peavy, Scotty. Great, great amplifier. Uh, you should know that being a musician uh, first. Yeah, no shit. Jake Peavy uh, was playing with Savannah Bananas and uh, was, awesome. play, was pitching with uh, his gold glove on. That he actually got for winning the gold glove. <laughs> <laughs> he, he went and did that, yeah. which I think is pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> I know Frank White, who won seven gold gloves, he gave one to his niece and one to his nephew, and apparently his nephew played coach pitch with it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another thing I did see that Jake Arrieta is, uh, er, announced his retirement. <laughs> About fucking time. Um, I didn't even know he was still playing. Yeah, he went on he went on a podcast and did an interview, and it was fucking hilarious because he said that uh, you know it's time for him to hang it up. He wants to you know pitch for his kids and stuff. They're in co- they're in the last p- year of coach pitch, and it was the championship game or some shit like that. And then because of him, they lost because he hit like three kids and walked like four of them or some shit like that. Because, his kid. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was fucking great. Um, but I, I, Man, I, that I, kid I really like a lot of stuff. I do. I thought it was great. You sure I like baseball players. Right. And memes. Yeah, and memes. And bad jokes. Right. And, uh, but last but not that? least, this is probably the most uh, controversial thing uh, that I wanted to talk about. And, uh, the, last, whole, the whole Jackie Robinson thing? Yes. Dude. Uh, uh, get him out. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, Eddie what? Klepp, man. Eddie Klepp. Damn right. That's Bring right. him back. Bring him back. <laughs> It's fucking terrible. Uh, but no. I found it very inappropriate the other day at the Royals game during Jackie Robinson Day that Michael A. Taylor showed up in blackface. Oh, God. That was, uh, wow. Wow. That no. was bad. Yeah. Uh, but no, the thing I really wanted to talk about, I had a couple He's questions. He's black, by the way, Scotty. I get it. Uh, but Doesn't the, sound like you do. No, but this this one I want to ask you guys about. So the other night or a couple games ago, Clayton Kershaw gets pulled after 13 strikeouts, 80 pitches, and seven innings of perfect baseball. Should he have gotten pulled? Now, I know he gets hurt all the time. He's going to get hurt anyway. Let's let him finish. I don't. I don't think. I still don't think people appreciate how rare a fucking perfect game is. Not to mention how the the whole rules and everything that Major League Baseball is pushing to more offense, and you've got a guy that's going out there with a fucking perfect game, and you pull him after 80 pitches. He's not even breaking triple digits here. Let him fucking go. And when he gets hit, then take him out. That's my opinion. Jeremy? I I do tend to agree with you on that. Um, even, even as good – Clayton Kershaw – Arguably, in over the last five years, yeah, maybe ten years, has been the most dominant, consistently dominant pitcher in baseball. Maybe not until he gets to the years. playoffs. Well, I mean, there's there's been you know with the COVID shortened season and stuff like sure. that. Maybe you can yeah. discount those, but I mean, there for a while, the man was 
during the regular season anyway, fucking unhittable. And even he hadn't really sniffed a perfect game before. Has he thrown a no-hitter before? Yeah, I believe so. But just one? Uh, I can't remember. I want to say I, I mix up him and Madison Bumgarner up a lot. But, but at the same time, okay, this happened a couple of years ago, a guy from the Orioles. Mm -hmm. We were actually watching the game during the podcast, and he had a perfect game going through – Six and a half, and he was at 82 this, pitches, yeah. and they pulled him. That one I totally did not understand because the Orioles were going to be a shit team that year. So even if that guy got hurt, who gives a fuck? You got to let him keep going. Kershaw, I mean, the Dodgers are kind of the odds-on favorite right now to win the World Series, and you're going to need Kershaw as kind of the anchor of your, your pitching staff. So I can understand not wanting to get him hurt, but still – when a guy's got the chance, you got to let him go. Oh, yeah. He has one no-hitter. He, he had one no-hitter with 15 strikeouts. It wasn't a perfect yeah. game, but it was a no-no. So I, that's I guess as a, as a major league pitcher in that situation, even though you're not supposed to be thinking about the perfect game, they're thinking about they're it. They're fucking thinking he about it. He knew damn well that nobody had gotten on base yet. How do you not – just go kicking and screaming if you're coming out of that game. I know, and, and he did the professional thing. Yes. Whenever he got pulled out, he, he said that we're thinking about bigger and better things. It's like, fuck, bro. You know who would have stayed in? Eddie fucking Clay. <laughs> That's who would have stayed in. <laughs> That's exactly right. Um, no, I, I, I really don't like that, uh, that whole move. Um, but as far as the sports go, guys, unless you guys have anything else that you wanted to talk about, no, that's all I, I got. I didn't want to talk about any of that shit. I didn't either. I didn't want to either. This, really? It took a long time to do it. I know. I was trying to get through it, but my voice just sucks. How about you, Derek? No, I got nothing. You got nothing. Okay, cool. Yeah. Now we get to move on to some of the fun stuff. We got real I wrote shit. a poem. You did? <laughs> <laughs> did you? No. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to interrupt. Okay. Um, now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit. We've been doing a whole bunch of guy things over the last couple episodes. Now we're going to do stuff about our fucking wives so we can get in trouble. Okay. Yeah. That's what we need. That's what we need. That's what heaven, I need. Heaven right? forbid I say something bad about my wife. Yeah. That's okay. I got this coupon. So yeah. I think I think we'll be okay. Sure, yeah. You know what I'm what saying? Just do just wipe that on or Yeah, you just sit there and just wipe that. Yeah, it's bag. like that Rub stuff in the magazines, you yeah. know, the the sure. cologne ads. I'm really it's like <laughs> that. I can't wait to use this. This is good. Scotty's wife great. loves a good coupon. Yeah, she just, does. Just rub that on your puss, it'll moisten it up a little bit. <laughs> in, in all seriousness, I'm so glad you got this for me because I'm gonna give it to my wife after this. Sweet. <laughs> the coupon or are you actually gonna go buy the stuff? I think I think no, I think he means vaginal dryness. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna buy her some vaginal <laughs> dryness. He's actually gonna give her some vaginal dryness yeah. as what he you, goes upstairs. Are you right. gonna get some of that stuff that they used to soak up throw up at schools yeah. and just throw it, <laughs> throw it into her panties? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. Whew. All right. Uh, but these are uh, real shit or horse shit things about uh, our wives. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to go start off with the, with the first one, which is real shit or horse shit. My wife will look at the menu of a fast food restaurant when she's known the whole time where we were going. Oh, that's real shit all day. Oh. I've, I've got friends that do that shit, too. It's annoying as fuck. I'm like, honey, McDonald's has the same menu for the last 53 years. What the fuck do you want? There's like, one month out of year where McRib is back, and other than that, it's the same shit. Yes. Okay, this used to be real shit. This used to be real shit until I told my wife how much it annoys the fuck fuck out of me why didn't you do it more i know I, I don't know why but now it's kind of funny because my wife will now pull up menus on her phone when she Ooh. knows where we're going so that way i don't get pissed jeremy that's exactly where i was going with this too um my wife will not sit there and look at the menu. Instead, she will hold us hostage at our house <laughs> looking at the online menu trying to figure out what the fuck we can do. Uh, at least I don't have to wait in a drive through line. Exactly. Don't be that fucking person. Anyways, uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit. My wife will take longer than an hour to get ready when we are going out. Oh, that's, that's about... I'm going to say horse shit. Okay. I think she's about right at an hour. Okay. So, because... Are we yeah. including showers here? Yeah, all of it. All of it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't change like five different times. So... I, see, this This is horseshit for me, too. My, I, I am very blessed when it comes to this. My wife, shower, ready to rock and roll and go. She doesn't wear a lot of makeup. She never really has. She's a fucking vampire. She doesn't age. 
So, um, yeah, she can normally get ready in 30 minutes or less on in most occasions. So this is uh, horse shit for me. Jeremy? It, this is absolute real shit. <coughs> this is why you cannot call me without at least two days' notice because that's when she has to start getting ready. Um, it's fucking ridiculous. I have never seen anybody just dick around as much as what my wife does to go anywhere. It's maddening. Uh-huh. Um I can literally go and do four or five different network updates on my PS5 <laughs> in the time that it takes her. And I can I can shower and be ready to go out the door 20 minutes, 25, yep. somewhere around in there. And just to fuck with her, I always am like, does my hair look all right? <laughs> um, but no, it is ridiculous how much my wife dicks around trying to get ready. She doesn't keep changing outfits. She stays on the same path, but it takes her forever. She's on APT. Yeah. What's APT? Oh, Asian come on. people time. Okay. Just making sure you had to clear that one up. Uh-huh. Uh, next one. Yeah. What? Real shit or horse shit. My wife will take her sweet ass time getting out of our vehicle when we get to our destination. 100% real shit. This is bullshit. This is real shit. My, it, my, yeah, she'll have to take her sunglasses off, put them in the case, put them in her purse, put her real glasses on, check the mirror. I'm like, honey, the four people just went in front of us now that we got to wait behind. Like, mm-hmm. let's fucking go. So, yeah, that's, that's real shit. I have no fucking clue what you're doing. What were you doing in the passenger seat of the car the whole time? Why aren't you doing this shit when we're on the way to where we're going? There have been times where I have gotten out of my vehicle with my wife in the passenger seat, and I have walked all the way to the front of wherever we were fucking going and turned around, and my wife is still in the fucking car. And I don't understand that. And it drives me fucking nuts. Jeremy? I honestly can't answer this because I never took the time to notice. I go in whether she goes in or not, (laughs) and hopefully she's right behind me. Um, To be honest with you, it's generally not getting out of the car that's the problem. Uh, Shamefully, my wife is a smoker, Mm. and so she is always smoking a cigarette whenever we get anywhere, and she has to stand outside and finish her cigarette Ah. uh, before we can go in anywhere, to which I have taken on the attitude of, not we <laughs> before you can go in anywhere i'm going inside they got air conditioning nice they got the warmest <clears throat> ice in town that's right <laughs> <laughs> uh next one real shit or horse shit my wife has too many pairs of shoes i'm gonna say horse shit okay yeah uh i used to think that then she got rid of a bunch and now i think her and i have about the same amount of pairs i was of shoes. getting ready to say you are a shoe whore too so uh, a little bit yeah. tennis shoes tennis shoes yeah. yeah so i'm gonna say horse shit i'm also gonna say horse shit um my wife just isn't that kind of a person and plus what's too many you know what i mean like three. i think i think two no three, i think three I, shoes is too many yeah 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 yeah, too yeah. Many. yeah. No, I, I think I think ten pairs of shoes. If you've got ten pairs of shoes, you're okay. If you got more than that, that's that's excessive. And I don't think my wife does. Uh, she's pretty she's pretty basic bitch. So. How many pairs your sister got, Scotty? Uh, well, <laughs> she's got not as many as you'd think because she's got a peg leg and a right. And, and right. And each one is one shoe. Yeah, just one shoe, man. So she has zero pairs of shoes. I like to think on the prosthetic, the really nice prosthetic that she puts a horseshoe on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Because I mean, she coming. can't feel it. Yeah. He's here like the high heel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she has to put a rubber stopper on the peg leg so she doesn't slide all over the place. She keeps wanting somebody to put her down. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anyways, how about you, Jeremy? Uh, I, I don't know. She always takes them off every time we go in anywhere, so I don't know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Uh, my wife's really not a shoe person, that's and that's it's crazy. almost always open toed. And I, I do believe the taking them off whenever we go in anywhere is kind of why. Yeah, um, we hardly ever go anywhere, so I really don't know what kind of shoes she wears because she takes for fucking ever to get ready. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I think she's fine. She's uh, right where she should be. Okay, fair enough. She owns the shoes I allow her to have. Right, gotcha. Uh, right, that? next one. One now. One now. Real shit or horse shit, my wife decorates our bed and our couches with way too many decorative pillows. Uh, I'm going to go real shit on that one, too. Okay. Uh, not so much the couch, but the bed for sure. We have two pillows we've never used. They're just fucking there. Mm-hmm. And then you put them on the floor, and then you go to bed. 
and then you wake up the next day. I don't make the bed, but if the bed's made, they're back on the bed, so you can move them back on the floor. Mm -hmm. There's no point in having them. What is the deal with people with with our wives decorating the bedroom pillows and stuff like that? Like, unless you're showing a house or some shit like that, who the fuck's going in there? Yeah, unless you're Us. fucking some other dude in that bedroom and exactly. you want to impress him. That's exactly right. Leave him alone. And believe that me, that seems like a lot of hassle to have to move those out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, she just bends over them and right. Oh, okay. And, 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 yeah, and then believe it or not, if you really want to impress another dude, get a whole bunch of decorative fucking pillows for your bedroom. But yeah, this is uh, this is. Uh, I, this is used to be real shit, but this is no longer. This is horse shit for me now. Jeremy? Um, yeah, this used to be real shit for me. Now it's horse shit because we have an, an elderly, sickly dog who throws up on everything. Uh, so he's ruined most of our decorative pillows. So none of our, our living room furniture has decorative pillows, really. Uh, I can tell you this. We have too many functional pillows. My wife has a special pillow that she takes everywhere she's like fucking linus with his blanket right she carries this fucking pillow everywhere and she's always got to have it on her lap and i don't understand it there's nothing special about this pillow but it, she's got to have it and i don't understand it <laughs> all right that's fucking weird yeah too. it is there's no joke there that's that's a real fucking thing and i don't get it got it she's and i've tried i've i've learned that there are worse habits to have and out there and i'm not going to pick that hill to die on she right. on the spectrum a little bit uh, she's not like cable technician. <laughs> she's not like you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last one. Real shit or horse shit. When my wife takes a shower, she puts her hair that is falling out against the wall of the shower and leaves it there for me to throw in the trash. That's a, that's kind of a real shit slash horse shit. Okay. Like she sticks it on the wall of the shower, but I just leave it there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Occasionally, I might pull a nut hair or something out and slap and it. Up put it next on there with it. it? Yeah. Nice. Absolutely. Sometimes I'll spell. We'll spell words. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Use that manscaped in there and just put it up by by the other hair. No. Okay. No. No. no you're just are just falling I, I, out. I tweeze it straight out. Oh, do you? Yeah. I'm a goddamn man. That's crazy. I tweeze every one of my nut hairs. Yeah. This is fucking real shit. I'm really curious about because I thought maybe my wife was the only one that do does this, and it drives me fucking nuts. But I'll get in the shower, and there will just be like, I'm like, where in the fuck is all this hair coming from? And it's just everywhere in the shower. So this is real shit for me. Jeremy? It's horse shit. She puts it right in the fucking drain. <laughs> right on that cover. It's yeah. It's like a fucking wig most of the time. <laughs> she has my wife... I think just to mock me has an incredibly thick full head of hair. And so not only does it come out in the shower and I don't know how she manages to maintain it because so much comes out in the shower, but then also she takes forever brushing her hair. That's one of the things that takes so long as her hair takes forever to dry, even with a hair dryer. And so she continually brushes it. So it's just like this fucking firework show of hair flying <laughs> out whenever window, you know, there's sun coming through the window oh, yeah. and you can just see it all fucking fly out. And then there's, Little hairs all over the bathroom. Nice. Yeah. It's like, Looks, a, like a tub merkin. One of these days, yeah. she's going to wake up with that whole thing shaved. Yeah, like a Jada <laughs> Smith. I'm tired of her bullshit. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm that trying is... trying to go back to that. What, Jada Smith? Yeah. Oh, well. That's like the third time you've alluded to it, oh, and we're yeah. not going to bite. Okay. That's that was three weeks ago. Uh -huh. Three weeks ago. All right. That was real shit, horse shit. Now we get to move on to the ever-growing favorite part of the episode. This is... Uh, Bad advice with Jeremy. Uh -huh. um, you know, if you guys have any suggestions or any questions about a current situation that you are going through personally, uh, you can message us either on Facebook or Instagram at Laughing on the Sidelines. Send us uh, whatever situation that you are in, and maybe Jeremy might like it just enough to where he will give you some bad advice. Uh, this one is from uh, this, this week's. I'm sorry. This week's. Uh, last week was such a fucking debacle, so I broke my own rules for this one and kept it really simple. Absolutely, he did. Uh, yeah. Uh, this one is from Jonathan Pennington, and he writes, Jeremy, I need some bad advice. How do you get rid of anal seepage? All right. Well, uh, ask a stupid fucking question. Here's what you're going to get. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm sure that it's uh, very inconvenient and uh, embarrassing, probably, to have to deal with anal seepage. You're constantly having to excuse yourself to, you know, go wipe yourself out and just flush it down the toilet, which I guess temporarily does get rid of it. 
but uh, really not a long-term solution. I I wouldn't honestly know. I'm not a filthy person like this <laughs> asshole is. Um, but uh, basically, here's what I came up with. Uh, a few weeks ago, we were talking about why is a jock strap shaped the way that it is <laughs> with the ass exposed... Uh, it just made no sense. Well, I think this is probably why. <laughs> you're going to want to get yourself a jock strap. <laughs> then you're going to want to get yourself a roll of duct tape. And you're going to want to affix a coffee can right to your buttocks. <laughs> so have it like at a downward angle. And you're going to want to make a nice tape seal around the lip of it. And, uh, you know, really keep all those juices in. You're going to want to collect them in this coffee can. Now, th- you can't shit in it. I don't know how you're going to deal with that. I'm not here to solve all your fucking problems. <laughs> now, this is going to require some adjustments in your life, too. You're, you're going to have to, one, not shit. You're going to have to learn to sleep on your side. You're going to have to uh, cut the seat out of all your britches um, and maybe get a stand-up desk at work. I'm sure you don't have a desk job, but uh, whatever. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, once you've done this, you want to collect all of the anal seepage that you can. And once it fills up, you're going to want to dump it out into Ziploc bags. Get it right back on your ass. You're going to want to start collecting it again. Now, I know you're saying, okay, that that really doesn't get rid of it. That just puts it in plastic bags. Stick with me here. Follow me. Okay, don't don't get ahead of me. I have a solution for this. Once you put it in these Ziploc bags and start collecting new stuff, where most people would ask, what am I going to do with it? You're going to start asking, what can't I do with it? <laughs> you're, I, I've come up with some suggestions for some things that you might want to start doing. You can uh, oil a bike chain. You can <laughs> spread it on toast. You can rub it on sore, achy muscles or dry, chapped lips. <laughs> you can fix a squeaky door hinge. You can wax the outside of your car or protect your leather seats. Use it as tanning lotion or pie filling. Maybe a gravy base. Patch leaks in what I have to assume is your above ground pool. Uh, put a new twist on sweet and sour chicken. Polish your shoes. Put it in your hummingbird feeder. Uh, drizzle it on pancakes or pour it on your cereal. You use it for special effects in a fog machine. Clean your phone s- screen. Put a little zip on your tuna salad. Vaccinate your pets. Rub it on your chest for colds. Oh, or dip your fish bait in it. Oh, now, these are just some suggestions that you can try. But basically, you want to find all of the things that you can do with it. Everything that you possibly can. Now, now you're probably saying, but that doesn't get rid of it. That just, just repurposes it. I'm begging you, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Now, you're getting that second one full. Now, you're going to start putting it in jars, and you're going to start hitting the farmer's markets. You're going to hit the fucking flea markets. You're going to hit the swap meets. You're going to start selling this as your all-purpose just solution for everything. It's the one product that does everything. Believe me, dude, you are going to get the word out there. You could start a podcast about it. I know a guy who'd be more than happy to help you set that up. And you just want to really get the word out. And you're gonna People are going to buy this shit left and right. You're going to have to start a website called analzon.com. And, dude... You're going to take care of all your financial needs. You're going to get rid of your anal seepage and you know, you're going to, you're going to make your kids rich. And when you finally die, ask to be cremated and have your ashes put in that coffee can. (laughs) And by the way, with that coffee can, you don't want to wash it out. Okay. And you, you want to like, let it season like a cast iron pan. That's, that's what I assume you want to do with it. Now, that's what I assume you meant by get rid of it. Now, if you're wanting to actually stop it, I don't really have bad advice other than, for God's sake, don't go see a doctor. Um, (laughs) But uh, other than that, that is my advice. Oh, jeez. Coffee can. Coffee can. Coffee can. Coffee can, man. That's what it is, right? Did did you have teeth whitener on that? Not yet. You should (laughs) should add that one. Totally should add that one. Well, it's really not my thing. Okay. Uh, (laughs) I, I did my part. Fair enough. Well, thank you very much uh, for the bad advice. We sincerely do appreciate it. Again, if you have any uh, any problems uh, that you need Jeremy's help, definitely send them, send them to us at uh, Laughing on the, on the Sidelines on Instagram. Whew, now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Mm. Same thing. Got any suggestions? Send them to us. If we like them, we'll put them on the show and give you a shout out. First one, overrated or underrated, women with tattoos. 
Oof. Well, I mean, that's a 50-50 there. It depends on what kind of tattoos. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about like the full sleeves. Full, like full sleeves. Yeah, motorcycle repair yeah. type. Yeah. yeah. You know, the big old like engines on their arms and shit like that. Mm. I don't know. Just chicks with tattoos, bro. Can chicks with tattoos be hot? Yeah, they can. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I'd say underrated. But if they've got like a fucking faded ass Tweety Bird tattoo, then, I, I, that's where I, then that's overrated. Like, congratulations, you're white trash. Yeah, yeah, that's and true. So that's, that's why I was like, you, you got to elaborate a little bit on tattoos for me. Sure. So, but yeah, I guess I'll go underrated. Chicks with tattoos are hot. It's that simple. They're un- that's underrated. Jeremy? My wife has tattoos, so overrated. <laughs> <laughs> My wife does too. And, and what's weird is uh, with Japanese women, okay, especially if you're from Japan, uh, tattoos are, mean you're in a gang. Oh, cool. So she's had like Japanese businessmen over here who don't know that she speaks Japanese oh. talking about her tattoos, wondering what gang she's in. Oh, God. Uh, apparently it's uh, kind of disturbing. Oh, you should wow. teach her to do that thing with her fingers where you spell out blood. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Just walk into the business meeting right like that. With a red bandana. It, it is, is there, are there tattoos like, like Japanese writing or something like that? No. Nope. They're English writing. No, mm-hmm. because those usually don't say what it turns out you think they say. <laughs> right. Turns out peace is actually yeah. fucking ball sack. Turns out your, ja- your, your tattoo artist doesn't speak or read Japanese. Right. He saw it in a book. Yep. Uh, all right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Tom and Jerry. Oh, God. Overrated. What? Absolutely overrated. Oh, my God. Uh, how many times can you replay the same shit over and over and over again? Over and over and over uh, again. No Infinity. Thanks. No. Oh, underrated. Tom and Jerry is fucking awesome. I can watch it over and over again. It's still funny. The fucking very last episode of Tom and Jerry is fucking sad, actually. But, um, oh, man. this. I is... didn't realize they were episodic. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they were. Do you have to follow the overarching storyline on sure. Tom and Jerry? I kind of thought they ended at the end of each cartoon. No, no, no. Now was. you got to go back and start from the beginning oh, if you're not yeah, all thought fuck. out. You got to binge watch that shit, Jeremy. <sighs> That's why I don't understand it. That's yep. why I think it's overrated. That doesn't make any sense because I can't follow the story. No, even at a time when cartoons were not the most common thing and you couldn't watch them twenty four seven, Tom and Jerry still sucked. Fuck it's you. fucking stupid. I love it. The mouse should never win that. You know uh, what an incompetent cat you have to be? A, Fuck you. You would have been killed by a car a long time ago. Yeah, you got to be a Jerry. Jerry cat. That's Tom, you dumb fuck. Yeah, I know. I'm just messing with it. Yeah, good joke. God damn. Sorry. You want to just edit out all the parts where you talk? Yeah, I do. I'm, my, voice uh, is start, my voice is starting yeah, to hurt. Bla- it's not the voice. It's the content. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, just not there it's today. What, it's what your voice is saying. Whatever. That's the problem. The word deal. Uh, next one, overrated or un- wasn't up for debate. Okay, you know what? Uh, <laughs> next one, overrated or underrated? Shooting spit wads at strangers. Overrated? You mean right. getting my ass kicked? Yeah. No. Yeah, you know, I don't think you get. I don't think you get your ass kicked unless you get caught. Oh, I'd get caught. I'm not sly. You you are too. You're no, a sly is, dog. You that is. I would never do that. No, you're you're sneaky. You're no, the you're I'm the too next, fat to sneak. You're the next 007. I'm the I, next Beverly Hills Ninja. Yes, you are. That's happening. That's for sure. I I think this is uh, underrated, uh, and I'll never forget it. There was a movie. It was a '90s movie with Sinbad. And it was called First Kid, where he's like the bodyguard for the president's son, mm-hmm. and he ends up having to go into like a like a fifth grade class, and he ends up fucking smoking this kid with a with a spit wad, but he uses a, a paper towel like roll on the inside and fucking nails him right in the face. That's that's some good shit. I'm gonna say this is underrated. Jeremy. Is this different than spitting on people? Yes. Okay. You're not just loogie. That's it up. fun. Um, <laughs> spitting in their mouth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I. I'm not a fucking child anymore. I'll. If I don't like somebody, I'll hit them. <laughs> that's that's where I go with things. Okay. I'm, or I'll just use my my razor sharp wit. Okay. Yeah. You know, you like know. how you do. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Jesus. Way razor sharp. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Getting Siri to say some fucked up shit. Well, that's underrated. Yeah. I mean, we're all juvenile there. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 
I had it changed at one point to where when I would plug my phone in, it would say deeper daddy. <laughs> Yeah, just because, I mean, that's what all the women would say to me. Mm-hmm. Right. Not the daddy part, but deeper. Yeah. And it's like, sure. that's all I got. I got, I got nothing <laughs> else. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, this is underrated. I fucking love the shit out of this. Jeremy? Yeah, it's great. Anytime that you can get something. However, can I say this? Mm-hmm. Every fucking TikTok video where it has the computer voice that sounds like Siri narrating the whole fucking thing, mm-hmm. I immediately hit not interested. Oh, yeah. If you can't fucking narrate your own goddamn videos, fuck you. Okay. But I like being able to make a computer say really fucked up shit. <laughs> you know, they're going to come back on us. That, that's true. They're going to come and They get sure us. are. They will. Technology's taking over, man. Mm-hmm. Last Derek w- would know he was on his phone. Exactly. Um, Absolutely. Uh, last one. Overrated or underrated? A romantic evening with your spouse consisting of lit candles, rose petals on the bed, and careless whisper by George Michael playing in the background. Well, I think that's going to be overrated on both her and I's part. Uh (laughs) Uh, She's less of a George Michael fan and more of a a 90s rock fan. Okay. Uh, And she knows that I'm not responsible enough around open flames. (laughs) And she's going to have to vacuum all those goddamn rose petals up. You're going to get red smears all over that new duvet. <laughs> Absolutely. So that is that is going to that is a fucking fail on all parts. I think what would make her happy would be some quesadillas uh, with uh, I don't know fucking smashing pumpkins playing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and ha- Harry and, Potter. On yeah, the TV. and me not home. Those would be <laughs> that would be the perfect romantic evening for her. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is uh, this is totally not my style. This is overrated as fuck. Um, I don't think my wife would want any fucking part of it, especially the fucking careless whisper by George Michael. She would turn that shit off. Jeremy? Yeah, my wife would be pissed off that I made a mess, (laughs) uh, that I burned her good candles, and that I fucked up perfectly good roses. (laughs) And... As per contract, I'm actually not allowed to play any of George Michael's <laughs> music. I can only have uh, one of the bands that I manage do their cover of it. Uh, this one, actually, there's a really good one from Dickhead Mike and the Duck Farts. Uh, <laughs> but rather than the saxophone, they sing the saxophone part. <laughs> That's fucking great. It sure is. Oh shit! <laughs> Derek, is that that getting you? Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> it was. Oh shit! Oh shit! All right. Well, that is overrated and or underrated for this week. Again, if you have any suggestions for this, you can send them to us on Instagram at Laughing on the Sidelines. And now we get to move on to Jeremy's favorite part of every single episode. This is questions and preguntas. <laughs> Derek keeps giggling and distracting me. You going to be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, but anyways, this is the uh, same thing. If you have any suggestions for questions, you can send them to us at uh, on Instagram at laughing on the sidelines. First question. The next trendy thing for hipsters will be blank. VHS tapes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Look. Like I know you've seen Die Hard in 4K, but have you seen it on VHS? Fuck yeah, there I have. just ain't nothing crisper than <laughs> old John McClane falling, or, you know, pushing or dropping that guy off the building. Hans <laughs> Gruber in VHS, absolutely <laughs> VHS. How about VHS that was recorded off of your TV screen while it was playing? Did you ever do that? Yes, we all did, Scotty. Yeah. Fuck VCR, yeah. video cassette recorder. Yes, yes. Um, I I went with uh, buzzing lips at chicks when they're horny, just. <laughs> Just like that, okay. Yeah, that's 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 going to be a new trend. I don't think it will, Scotty. That's that's going to be considered not PC. Oh, you it's need not. you need to get consent before you do that. That's the consent. If they if they buzz back, that's PC. Their, yes. Does that stand for post consent? It yes. sure does. Absolutely. Post control. Ah, ah yeah. yeah, yeah. That's it. Not pest control, because boy, I wound up spraying her with Raid one night. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the crabs. I, it sure did. Those crabs check in. They don't check out. The iPad wouldn't um, recognize it, would it? <laughs> it wouldn't. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but uh, <laughs> it was kind of a callback. <laughs> it kind of was. You got voice problems. That's the problem. Man. I know that is a problem. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Um, okay. Let me ask you this. What What do, okay, is hipsters. Mm-hmm. Those are the guys with beards and I, I know what hipsters are, but is it more retro or do they come up with like fucked up things? Because like. 
the the shoes with the heel the heels oh heels yeah, yeah. Are, is that a hipster thing fuck yeah okay. I had a kind of nah, sort of I don't think so okay I think hipster things are like craft beer flannel yeah all right trying to look like a lumberjack are they just trying to like boots. like to bring back retro shit like underground of, bands that not many people have heard of yeah oh, sure. and then they get pissed at you whenever they become popular yeah I know being the crouton fairway. juice is real big with the fucking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of flannel at those shows. <laughs> Great on fucking hate mm-hmm. it. Yeah. That, they that just was... played last week. They opened up for Flaccid Trapeze. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good show. He should have been there. Yeah. Uh, um, so it's not just like weird. Because I was going to say like platform shoes with training wheels on them. <laughs> sure. Or, or get the Heelys, but with rear view mirrors. <laughs> Start putting those. Yeah. Like, like big... <laughs> Maybe big shirts with shoulder pads with, with rear view mirrors on them. Fuck yeah. Pants with a trailer hitch. <laughs> Just soft I want to see that, yeah. Uh, absolutely. Or or pants that are custom designed for a fucking coffee can. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's going to be big. That is going to be huge. Uh, next question. What's the most common injury of the super wealthy? I'm going to go with a torn urethra. Oh, really? Yeah, I think that uh, when you're rich enough, especially for dudes, I think when the, when guys get rich enough, just normal fucking is boring to them anymore, so they just start jamming shit places it's not <laughs> supposed to go. Oh. So, uh, they, you know, a guy's trying to fucking shove a matchbox car and as you're down as urethra or something. Oh, good God. So I think, and I think that's the kind of thing that might tear it. Oh, jeez. So I'm going to go with the torn urethra. Uh, they can buy a new one. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. I can buy mine. 60 mm-hmm. bucks. Sure. Uh, gunshot wound. Self-explanatory. Sure. Self-inflicted. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the best place. That, without a doubt, funniest thing you've done on this show. And by this show, I mean the entire span of the podcast. Uh, <laughs> how about you, Jeremy? Oh, God. Uh, based off of the cartoons I've seen, uh, drowning in your money bin. Um, <laughs> yeah. Scrooge used to do that a lot. Uh, yeah. Also, just based off of what I assume really wealthy people to do, uh, like they tear their, their tongue when they're licking their thumb to count more, more bills. Money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I like to think of rich people as sitting around with those weird visors with the clean, you know, <laughs> yeah. clear green oh, bill on them. Old 70s uh-huh. poker yes, visors. fucking counting their <laughs> lighting fucking cigars on $100 <laughs> bills. What was it? Uh, no, I don't think he was wearing it. And Rounders was the, was, oh, fuck. I can't even remember his goddamn name. Did he have one of those Matt green hats? No. John the, Malkovich? The, no, the guy he was playing against. Who, Teddy KGB. Yeah, yeah KGB. Did no, he ever have Malkovich. a green hat on? Okay. No. I, just, no. I just imagine, I guess. He had a tray of Oreos. I knew he had the tray of Oreos. I just couldn't remember. Uh, All right. Next question. If being funny turns women on, name a living comedian who is a chick magnet. Jeremy fucking Joseph. Jeremy fucking Joseph. And that's not even a fucking joke. Jeremy Joseph. Gets all the That was my answer, too. Uh, It's totally (laughs) true. Really? I I was going to go with Gallagher. Swimming. Oh, yeah? Uh Uh-huh. Fuck. Swinging that fucking sledgematic around. But if it if it women yeah, love getting hit in the face with watermelon spatter. <laughs> yeah, but if Jeremy Joseph's doing comedy, they yeah, definitely sure. need the punches. Well, they're sure. really more after the bands. <laughs> right. <laughs> but if it weren't Jeremy Joseph, who would it be? Who do you who do you think, in your opinion, a live living comedian who's getting more puss than anybody because he's fucking funny? Oh, Dave Chappelle. You think Dave? Fuck, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd say he's number one. A, no, a close number two, though, in my opinion, in my opinion, is Andrew Schultz. He's a, he's a, he's up and coming. He's going to be Ooh. fucking good. Andrew Schultz. I never heard of her. Flagrant too. <laughs> it's fucking great. Jeremy. Uh, well, I broke my answer last week, but it was Gilbert Gottfried. Um, <laughs> still, and yeah, still. so I'm going to change that to Norm Macdonald. Fuck no, Bob Saget. No, <laughs> god damn it. Uh, <laughs> Lenny Bruce. No, god damn it. Uh, <laughs> Carlin Pryor, fuck. Patrice, they're all dead. Patri- yeah, they're Patrice all dead. O'Neill? Yes. Yeah, for sure. I bet you he did get some puss. I bet you he did, actually. Um, no, without a doubt, it's Carrot Top. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's fucking hilarious. Not. Yeah, no, I, I'm going to go with uh, David Tell. 
Oh yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's good. That's a good one. He's one of those guys that makes you just go, "Why in the fuck didn't I think of that?" Right? He's, it's simple, but it's fucking hilarious. He's fucking excellent, and he's done it for so good for so long. Yep. Uh, next question: What's a strange request you would want at your funeral? Oh, I've already got the request. What do you got? Um, well, I want to be cremated and off the casket. I want everybody to just divvy up some lines of me and snort them. Oh, Jesus that Christ. Is, that is what's going to happen. Oh, I, I'm not going to do that. Oh, you're not invited to the funeral. Thank fucking God. Uh, but yeah, you guys are all going to chop up some lines. I'll, I'll, we'll use my debit card because mm-hmm. we're not going to need that anymore. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> right on up there. Let's all right. Go. Sure. Do you think I'll get some of your, your like your funny if I did that? No, like I, I, I don't think there's anything on the earth that could make you funny, Scotty. Damn, I was I was I almost had hope. No. Okay, so here's my request. Huh. My request is that uh, they uh, Derek and Jeremy take me out of the casket and weekend at Bernie's my ass all the way through my own funeral. I think that would be that that would set me home, and then. Before, uh, whenever it's done, the funeral's finished, you put me back in the casket and you bury me. That's it. That's my. That's we my can handle point. the last part of that. <laughs> I'm sure you could. <laughs> but no, I want you to weekend. I would Bernie's actually life. prefer to do the weekend at Bernie's thing with you while you're still alive. Oh, yeah. Just force you tied to us, just force you around and do shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're fighting it the whole time. And I, we're just dragging you around. We're going to water ski with him in mm-hmm. the ocean. Fuck yeah. All right. Yeah. That's mine. Uh, I want uh, I want the Ave Maria sung uh, performed totally by the Stink Pilgrims. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, I want my my pallbearers to be all the guys in Taxi Stab. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> oh shit, Taxi Stab. What kind of band was that? The best kind. Is it Jamaican country. Come on, Scotty. Uh, okay. No, that's the second best kind. Okay. Mostly just like uh, it, it's they're okay. They're a Chuck E. Cheese cover band. Is what they are. <laughs> okay. All right. Good stuff. But they all do. Every one of my bands does a George Michael song. Nice. <laughs> that's great. Okay. Last question. Name something you thought would be awesome as a kid, but now as an adult, it would be awful. Oh. Uh being an adult. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't no shit. Fuck uh-huh. that shit. Yeah. God. Back when I was a kid, I was worried about whether or not I was going to get a four-day weekend or how long spring break was. And mm-hmm. now I'm just worried about puss and taxes. Yeah. It's awful. And that's no shit. You were worried more about, like, what color squeeze it you got in your lunchbox. Oh, yeah. You know? Make sure if they, Make sure they didn't slip me butterscotch pudding in my snack pack. Jesus. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's take it easy on the puddings that we're fucking insulting here. Easy, Papa Jeremy. (laughs) Jesus. I would give anything for butterscotch. (laughs) Of course, back in my day, all we had was tapioca. (laughs) We were. That is uh, rice pudding. Did you know that? Yes. (laughs) Rice. Somebody looked at rice and went, "Oh, that'd be a good dessert." <laughs> we were at uh, we were at Menards the other day and fucking. Did you say big money? I, that's my favorite song. <laughs> Fuck and yeah, I got that on a loop on my iPod. <laughs> we're, we're, we're walking through Menards and we didn't buy anything, but I was like, "Oh shit, I got to stop at the register real quick." I've got to pick up Jeremy some circus peanuts. <laughs> it was like he loves. They got to be Spanglers, but he loves them. And she's like, "Really." And I'm like, oh, God, yeah. <laughs> she goes, okay. And so then we're getting ready to leave. She's like, oh, honey, did you need to get the circus peanuts? And I was like, or she, I was like, no, he actually really fucking hates them. <laughs> <laughs> but God damn, was that funny. Uh, does she have that song playing on the iPad that's down in her panties? Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 It's weird because it says my nards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. There you go. Avidars. Yeah, the Nards. Uh, I'm, th- I'm, I actually put some thought into this one. Um, do you remember when you were a kid, you thought if somebody invented the X-ray glasses to where you could see it, like people naked? like you- They used to sell them on the backs of comic books. Right, right. Uh, X-ray glasses. Right. Okay, if they actually specs. did exist. X-ray specs. X-ray specs. If those actually did exist, that would be awful. 
Yeah, you would, you would fucking see. wear those every <laughs> fucking Monday night. <laughs> and we'd never get any work done. Because you'd just be fucking thinking with your dick. <clears throat> no. Like Kevin yeah. Gates, all hard and stuff. You don't want to see everybody naked. You have never seen an x-ray, have you? <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> there's um, nothing erotic about him at all. <laughs> where it's just, just bones. Yeah, Scotty goes, and you can see a dark spot where their poop is. <laughs> Scotty goes to the dentist. I need to take an X-ray. Get away from me, you fucking yeah. pervert. Yeah. <laughs> but no, obviously not X-ray. But like, put that lead vest over my dick. <laughs> I want you seeing it. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? What's the question again? <laughs> the question is, name something you thought would be awesome as a kid, but now as an adult, it would be awful. Oh, being famous. <laughs> um, that's just really, really hard for me to get through life. Yeah, we had that fan come up to us at the wind surge game the other day. Yeah. That fucking kid with the big-ass hat on. <laughs> yeah, that little tiny yeah. kid. <laughs> well, like I want four. ice cream. Yeah, he, he just came up and started looking at us, and I told Derek I thought he might be a listener. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, having to sleep next to a woman every night. Uh, you want a man or something? She snores <laughs> oh, yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I always yeah. thought that would just be sex all the time, and it's not. <laughs> it's a lot of hair in the shower. Yep. And, and a lot of taking forever to get anywhere. And a lot of restraint. Yeah, so you yeah. don't fucking put that pillow over her head and smother. Mm -hmm. One right. of them, one of those pillows. Yeah, absolutely. That's what the decorative things are for. Probably. They're yes. The, they're the smothering pillows. That's, That's exactly those are murder right. Tools. You don't want to get out of line. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, that is questions and preguntas for this week's episode. Thank you so much to nobody because we didn't use any of your questions, and that's okay. Uh, we just and we still wouldn't thank you. Yeah, we still wouldn't thank you anyway. Uh, but now we get to move on to a very part or a very popular part of every single episode. This is our laughing on the sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines draft. Um, yeah, this is our draft. This is going to be a fun one. Um, let's see who won last week. Derek won last week mm -hmm. uh, with with fucking bees. Fucking that, bees, bees, motherfucker. That that's the best pick. Let's see overall best pick. The fucking Tommy Boy scene of that is the yeah, best oh, ever. Fucking mm -hmm. awesome. Uh, Jeremy came in second. I came in dead last. Uh, so I get the uh, first pick this week. Jeremy gets the uh, sandwich picks, and Derek gets the championship picks. And uh, this week's draft is going to be. The worst ways to die. Mm. This is it's pretty good. I, I I really am excited for this one right here. And I get first pick. So, without a shadow of a doubt, I think the worst way to be killed or die would be to burn alive. Okay. That's kind of how I want to go. That it, makes, is yeah, it? Yeah, it makes snorting the ashes easier. Oh, uh, my Lord. Yeah, you don't have to pay for that cremation. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Jeremy, you get second pick. Go ahead, <clears> dude. I'm going to go with stone to death. Oh, that's a good one, too. Just being... Oh, fuck. Actually, I I get another pick later, don't I? Yeah. yeah. You do, unless somebody else At least gets one, it. right? Yeah. At least one. Okay. Mm Derek, you get two. Drowning. Yeah, that was that was my next one. That's that's slow too. Mm -hmm. Drowning is very slow. You get another one though. I know. I'm trying to think here. Trying to think. I'm gonna go with. Well, there's so many bad ways. There's, there's not really a. Well, there's one good way to die in your sleep. But, yeah, exactly. Um, I'm gonna go with. Dying of thirst. Ooh, that's that is a good one. Oh, because I think your body starts to cramp up. Yeah, dehydration. Oof. That's one you're really really wet. The other you're really really dry. <laughs> yeah, that's actually how your wife's puss is gonna die. I know dehydration. I don't know, dude. I got this fucking coupon. Mm, that's you better hurry. I know. I really. Fuck. All right. Jeremy, yeah, let's go, dude. What do you got? 
Um, okay. There, there was a, a method of basically interrogation slash execution that they used to do for people with witch, for witchcraft. Damn it. Where they would basically start stacking stones on them. Yes. Until they confessed. And if they never confessed, they just continued to pile stones on you until you were dead. And I can't think of it. It's just called crushing. Yeah. It's crushing is all it is. And, uh. It sounds awful. It's yeah, absolutely. All right, I get two. I and I my, mine are still there. My two biggest fears are are still in the mix, and my first one is going to be a plane crash. And a lot of people are going to say, "Well, that's an, a fast way to go." No, it's fucking mm-hmm. not. Takes you, a long time, time to for that, fucking fall. That's exactly fucking right. Oh, yeah, but it'll be painless when you hit the... What? Yeah. Um, no, the fear f- for like two, three minutes is going to suck. Would it be worse to have them pull out at the last minute? Yeah. And not... I mean, to go through all that and then not die? Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. I, I don't think you'd ever fucking recover from that. Mm-hmm. To fall several miles and then be yeah. fine. Yeah. You would be fucked up forever. Reason why I don't like flying on planes is because of a bad experience in one, and we dropped. Uh, I don't know how, what our altitude was or whatever, but it, I it sucked. Um, my next one is my other biggest fear, which is to be eaten by a shark. Okay. So, uh, shark or animal? Do you what do you want me to put it as? I'd say animal. Animal. Okay. Yeah. You getting mauled by any animal, really? Yeah. All right, Jeremy, you get another one. No, doesn't Derek get a second one? Oh, am I going the wrong direction? No, I thought he got a. Did you take two, Derek? Okay, oh yeah, no, no, no! I'm sorry, uh, Jeremy. It's Jeremy because Jeremy, you had crushing, and then I had plane crash and eaten by an animal. Yeah, yeah. So it's yours. Oh, okay. Um, having paper bag put over your head. Ooh, or a plastic bag. I mean, yeah, yeah. Paper really wouldn't. Yeah. Like that break. <laughs> yeah, that's how I have sex. That's how you get rid of hiccups. <laughs> that, I believe that's right. Yeah, just blow I, that up, and uh, they put a paper bag over my head, and all of a sudden, everybody wants to fuck me. Yeah, yeah like that, Lucky Number Eleven. Yes. Yeah, that's a good fucking movie. It's a plastic bag, and you can't do a fucking thing about it. Yep. All right, Derek, you get two. Um, torture count. Yeah. Well, like how? Well, if you're tortured to death, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, but like how? Like which one? Because oh, I got there's so many different ways. Uh huh. I, I know. I got. I've, I've got one. It just kind of depends on how how you're tortured. Oh God! Well, now you're gonna make me Google t- ways of torture. I know. I know. I, I and the only reason why is because there's so many of them. I know there are. Most tortures don't result in death because they're trying to get information out of you. Well, yeah, but in the medieval days, <laughs> yeah, there was a. A lot worse ones. Uh, you know what? I got one guillotine. Oh, uh, I don't know. Really? That'd be quick. that'd be quick. Uh, Actually, there's there's evidence that your head stays alive for about forty five seconds. Oh, oh God. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's bad. And then you get another one. Uh, do 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 do. Let's go with uh, what's called the ooh. I don't know if you'll call if you'll count that because so, it's kind of what you said. Rat torture is what it's called. Yeah, I know. I saw that one too. That's kind of the same thing. It is. So let's go with. Uh, ooh, does the blood eagle count? I don't even know what the fuck that ooh, is. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> does that count? I think so. Okay, the blood eagle. I don't know what that is. Oh, let me read it to you. Oh, great! That's a Viking thing. Yeah. Blood Eagle. Oh, it, yeah, I have, because this was in an episode episode of Vikings, if I remember right, wasn't it? It was a method uh, of ritually executing a chosen member of detailed. It's got a poor, yeah. uh, uh, the victims in both cases uh, were placed in a prone position, their ribs severed from the spine with a sharp tool, and then lungs pulled through the opening to create a pair of wings. Yeah, I have. That's that. Is that is in Vikings? That was actually what made me stop watching that fucking show. <laughs> so that was a good one I got there. Yeah, that was a good one. But honestly, how badass do you look? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Woo! All right, Jeremy, 
You I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with being impaled to death. Yeah, mm. damn it. I was gonna go the Vlad the Impaler route. Yeah. Yeah, because you stayed alive on that fucking thing for a while. Oh yeah. Then it You was, were forced to sit on it. Yeah, it was up your ass. Like Potsy. Huh? Yeah. Uh fuck. Uh I'm gonna go with uh Gast. Okay. As one. I try to do that to you every week. I know, but no, I'm talking about like Holocaust style gassed. Ah. Yeah. And then last but not least, let's see. Do 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 do. Oh man. I don't really know. <laughs> I know there was uh, I, I don't remember what it's called. I want to say it's called the torture rack. Um, but whenever you were stretched, mm-hmm. yeah, it usually didn't kill you. Uh, it, it could. Well, Lex Luger, oh, sure. Lex Luger did it. Yeah. But mostly what it would do is just pull your arms and legs out of socket. And your back. It'd kill you. I don't think so. Not generally. Well, then that I mean, that. maybe you could eventually bleed out from it, but it really didn't go after... Okay. Organs. All right. Well, then, if it, if it didn't kill you, then I Fuck guess. Fuck you and your fucking rack, Scotty. Yeah, I know. Got the worst rack in history. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I, I didn't. Wow. I'll, starvation. Shit. Okay. That does seem bad. Yeah. That one takes a long time. That mm-hmm. does. Ugh. I, didn't, I can't believe I didn't think about that sooner. All right. That's my last pick. Jeremy, your last pick. Okay. Uh, I need to look up the name of this. Um,. I couldn't find the other one that I was looking for. And so I hope you're thinking of the same one that I was. Trying probably, to find. probably not. I'm thinking of something way better. Okay. Uh, let's see. The Brazen Bull. Yeah, I, I was thinking about that, but I already have Burned Alive. So uh, I'm trying to think. of. I can't. Let me look up which, uh, which uh, fucking emperor that was under. It was in Greece. Basically, the uh, emperor had put out the word of give me the cruelest form of uh, execution that you could find. People had to think of one. And this fucking blacksmith came up with this is a, a bronze bull and with a door in it, a trap door into the stomach of it. And you made people get in it and then lit a fire under it until mm. it cooked you to death. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, That's the, pretty horrible. the emperor was so f- fucking impressed with it that he uh the guy who invented it he that was the first victim oh yeah. my god yeah super fucked up mm-hmm. and he was thrilled <laughs> yeah Derek. well you know, last pick i gotta go in honor of yesterday yeah he's gonna do Crucifixion. it too. you gotta love it that's the best one to end on oh man yeah I'll leave you on a hill up there for days yeah technically he died from being stabbed in the side by a uh, yeah, but they true. crucified other people, not just Jesus. Yeah, yeah. but they generally they that, crucified that actually real. Generally they actually crucified people, real people. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, but yeah, that was our draft for. Oh God, now we're, I'm coming up with all kinds of good ones. Okay, there was one, <laughs> I, and I can't remember what it's called, but it's said to be the worst way to die, and it has something to do with they put you out on something floating in the water, and. It gets so they they like put I don't know if it's pig's blood or shit or feces or something. Just let birds come and birds peck come at and you. peck at you. Yeah, exactly. And they just fucking eventually kill you. Being buried to the neck in fucking sand and oh, oh letting the fucking high tide come in. Either that or fire ants. I just yeah. thought of that one too. Ooh. I had stung to death by bees. That oh, was yeah. what I thought of. My girl. You was, and those yeah. fucking bees. I yeah. know. Syphilis. My girl. Yeah. Syphilis would suck. It just eats holes in your fucking brain you go nuts until you die and it's yep. if you catch it early you can cure it very very easily yep all right flintstone vitamin will do it yes, it sure will sure will that's right only the grapes mm-hmm. that's right 10 million strong mm-hmm. yep <laughs> and growing thank you i'm sorry i was a little bit behind I, i'm sorry i forgot he was losing his voice that's why right yeah show so bad <laughs> right um all right. Well, that is uh, this week's draft. Uh, you can go to Facebook.com and vote for your favorite list of worst ways to die. And whoever wins gets championship picks next week, and that's about it. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Oh. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, on June 10th, 1944, a battalion of Nazi soldiers sealed off and marched into the village of oradou sur glane That's in occupied France. Um, or it was occupied. I guess we liberated it, mm -hmm. and they still haven't thanked us. Um they uh, then ordered everyone in the village into the village square. The men were separated from the women and children and taken into barns where they were then each shot in the legs so they couldn't run away. Then they were doused in fuel and the barns were burned down. Uh, only six men were able to escape from it. Meanwhile, then they took their attention over to the women and children who had been locked into the church where they then lit an incendiary device starting the church on fire and any of the women and children who tried to escape were mowed down by machine gun fire. Jesus. Uh, all in all, 642 people wind up dying, including 205 children. And now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, Nazis are kind of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. That's the shitty I, situation right there. See, so Jews, what are you complaining about, really? <laughs> oh, I mean, everybody had it bad. Come on. Wow. Man. Okay. Well, this week's Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation is, would you rather hmm. have your cell phone ringtone and or notifications be two people fucking? Or a girl continually or continuously screaming rape at the top of her lungs, Jeez. screaming for help, saying she's being raped. Rape! It's like Derek out looking for his dog. Absolutely. Yeah. Ironically, the two people fucking and the rape thing—that's the only way I have sex. I was getting ready to say both of these are kind of turn-ons to me. Yeah. Um. Jeez. I'm gonna. I get. I'm gonna go with the people fucking. Yeah. I think I have to. Yeah. Uh, Jesus. And there's nothing more d distinct than a woman either screaming rape or fucking. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. You're getting looks one way or another. Yeah. If Are these two people having sex or working out? <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> and at least if it was like me fucking somebody you really wouldn't hear her at it'd all be quiet. Yeah. yeah it'd be dead silent yeah just a little bit of like the macaroni noise and mm -hmm. that's it yep that's so right i'm gonna i'm gonna go with that very good yeah i'm doing the two people fucking it's not it's not even close to me um i it's a conversation starter man i think that would uh i would start some conversations at work you know with your boss and hr not a big fan of the the term rape. I think they should call it stealing home. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Benny the Jet rodriguez <laughs> that shit. Yeah, see, well, he, did, he did 15 to 20 for that. He did. Mm -hmm. yeah, he sure did. Stealing home. He sure did. How about you, Jeremy? Well, and, and he didn't have his papers. That's right. But, uh, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everything I've done is awful in this episode. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, <sighs> Okay, I'm going to go, yeah, i got to go with the two people having sex. Clean uh, sweep. That is not, uh, you don't get arrested for that. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're at a grade school or whatever, yeah. but I don't go to grade school. So <laughs> You imagine a nice day out, you pull up next to, you got the windows down, you got the stereo cranked up. And you forgot you left your ringtone on, so it's now all of a sudden over oh, yeah. the stereo speakers, oh, yeah. that's playing out of your car, just mm -hmm. rape! Oh, shit. Oh, God. Can we talk about that for a second? What? Have Has something changed with cars to where they're not as, like, insulated on the inside or whatever? I hear people go to their, their car and their phone, like, instantly links up with their, uh -huh. mm -hmm. their stereo, and they might as well be standing right here talking... <laughs> On the fucking phone because it is so fucking loud. Yeah. What's with that? I don't know. That's that's new design. I fucking mean, motorcycles do that hearing, shit, too. I think your hearing yeah. just got better. Well, motorcycles I get because... Yeah, that's I that's definitely happening. My, <laughs> my hearing with age is really getting a lot better. That's what they Mo say happens. Yes. Motorcycles I get because when you're on them, you can't hear shit. They have to be that loud in order for you to hear them. I say get some fucking earbuds. Yeah. But whatever. Um, 
But yeah, with with cars, you would think they would seal that sound in just for acoustic purposes. Yeah. But no, I get to hear one side of your fucking conversation on the phone. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I I just I totally think that uh, two two people fucking's bad, but it ain't it ain't somebody screaming rape. Yeah, I mean if it was in yeah, a different that's a felony, that's uh, yeah, that's gonna get you arrested. Exactly. You know, if it was in like Spanish or something like that, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Or another language, then I'd probably do then, that one. But then the cops like, well, you know, I gotta, you gotta I, dude, I had to do it. It was a shitty situation. It was just, it was the laughing I on the sideline shitty situation. Yeah. I I had to pick one. I had to. There's what? that one fan that actually does one of the two things every Shit. week. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I gotta do one of these. Which one am I doing today? It's that one dude that fucking streaked across the outfield. I can tell you that ain't happening. Everybody has stopped listening a long time ago. <laughs> one guy just trucks the special needs kid running in for the Fuck touchdown. Yes, that's one of my favorite ones still to this day. Oh, that is my favorite one. That one and Derek Derek streaking across the field, thinking that he's uh, he's a transgender which that hasn't did quite you say, committed. Derek? What's that? Which one did you say? The mine, yeah. The would you rather have the three pointer blocked? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Or the or get tr- or block yeah. the three pointer or truck the special. They're both a special needs kid. I like the one after we did the uh, worst times for a end zone celebration dance, and the guy did that at the fucking drive through at Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we got sent that video. That fuck, was yeah. Fun. fuck yeah, fuck yeah. I don't know if they did that for us or no, if that was just already made, but I like to think it was made. for us. It wasn't made for you, Scotty. For yeah, sure. no, it wasn't. Totally it wasn't. No, you're, but, you're losing your voice. I am. Um, I am. I'll have it back next week, though, for you. Oh, you don't have to. I'll even sing we a little bit. We should get a guest toast. I want to get this autistic kid from Cox. Yeah, yeah that'd be great. Yeah. Sure would. Does, okay. Is he funny? It was to me. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get enough of this fucking kid. <laughs> Tell me more. Yeah. Boring fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> he probably listens to this. We, we got to get some more diversity. And we he had a gay dude. Yeah, we did yeah. have a gay dude. We, yeah. yeah, now we just we can't just keep having three white trash pieces of shit. We got to diversify this. Thing. Yeah. That is weird that the one gay guy we got was totally white trash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and right in. Yeah. 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 Uh, but anyways, yeah. So uh, that is. And by that, of course, I mean Adam, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, Adam Cook. I'm cook. Anyways, guys, that is everything that I have. Does uh, do you have any shows coming up, Derek? That you're aware of yet? Nope. Summertime's coming, man. Mm-hmm. It's so, all over your face. It's right. Thank God you got that comforter. That's actually a good question. Is uh, comedy shows uh, generally slow time right around summer? Uh, it? It, it's slower. Winter is usually like around Thanksgiving. Christmas is usually your best. Okay. Comedy shows are kind of considered a nighttime thing, and when it doesn't get dark till nine, okay, yeah, that makes sense people too. don't tend to go out as much, and yeah, there's right. more shit to do. Okay, go cool. out at the lake, Scotty. That's true. I forgot about that. But anyways, guys, that is all that we have for this week's episode. Thank you guys so very much. We sincerely do appreciate everything that you guys are doing. Welcome new followers. Um, and goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, old followers. followers. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but no, we really do appreciate everything that you guys are doing. Uh, and as we always say, guys, uh, if you do like us, do us a favor. Keep telling your friends and your family. But if you don't like us. May all your fucks be dry ones. <laughs> if you don't like us. Tell your enemy. And until next time, guys. Be sure to be dry. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see you all later. Take care. Later.